Hello. Welcome back. It is that time of the week again. The greatest, arguably the greatest day of the week. Well, maybe not for most people, but for me. Thursday Night Thunder. We're back. So, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, We're in the penultimate part before the big finale for next week, for season four. Weird to think we're that many seasons in, but we're here. We're at the the final leg. You know what? You know what? Talking about legs. You know what makes makes me want to freaking do right now? Makes me want to do that. Makes me want to do that to the competition. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I almost fell. Almost fell. That was bad. I gotta get my balance better. You see this? That's the competition. That's what I want to do, the competition. Ugh. I almost fell. That was bad. Uh, the camera didn't even pick it up either with the fall. That would have been... We needed that, but... Yeah, so we're here. Hello, chat. Uh, there's a lot of people in chat. Oh my god. Uh, hello, uh, CPO. Uh, hello, NASCAR42. Hello, Andrea. Bumble. Hello, Bumble. Uh, Brayden Taylor. Andrea Riggs. Lord. Turquoise Hawk. Hello. Uh, uh, Jordan Clark. Hello. Hello, Phantom. Uh, anyone, anyone else? Uh, hello, Spencer. Hello, uh, uh, Chast Chastain. Christian. Did I say Chastain? What the fuck? It's Christian. Orange socks. Talk about skipping leg day. These are my my Dragon Ball Z socks. I have like a collection of them. Those socks are a felony. They're damn right. They're damn right. What if podcasts and just rambling? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Actually, that honestly wouldn't even be that bad. Just just to interact with chat more, because sometimes during a race, it's really hard to try to look at chat and race at the same time. Especially with Thunder 04, that's so so stressful. I mean, I guess the only way to combat that is literally just qualify first and just destroy the field. But then that really wouldn't be interesting to watch. Then uh, I didn't know Ross Chastain was. <laughs> I, I, I botched that. Um, but yeah. Uh, so there's some interesting NASCAR news, sort of. Um, there was like a tier list. That's not even really NASCAR. I guess it's, it's sort of NASCAR. There was like a tier list that was made for like content creators. And there was one tier list that they didn't even know who Brock Beard is. Which made me very upset. Because Brock Beard should be easy A tier. I think the two tier list I saw, I was in, I think I was in like, like good, it was like a tier below S or something, and then I was under like neutral, so at least people even know who I am, that's something. But then there were, then, uh, uh, and the one I referred to is Claywell made one where he just shared someone else's like tier list, and somebody was threatening a person to kill themselves for it, and then the other person acted like he was going to do it and then Claybo got into their DMs and asked about it and he said he just did that for attention which is really fucked up because I mean I lost a friend to bullying and he ended his life and I don't take that shit as a fucking joke and to even use that for attention is really disgusting and I, uh, yeah, so there was some kind of bullshit, petty, childish drama with that, which is really just sad. All over a tier list, for God's sakes. It's really not that big of a deal. But Twitter is such a shithole. Discord can kind of be like that, too, sometimes. But, man. Um, honestly, at least for me, if I ever did a tier list, I I'm only going, like, Elite Precision, um... Brock Beard, uh, Ally Productions, or there was someone else. But uh, basically anyone that, especially Slap Shoes, a lot of those should just be like S tier because they're like they're like video essays and are like really well thought out, well produced stuff. Like that should be like S tier. 
And then, like, for gameplay stuff, maybe, like, a tier below that, because I don't feel like gameplay can reach the same level of quality god tierness as, like, a video essay. So, that's where I would kind of rank it, but that's kind of just a vague generalization. And Frisky Nixon would probably somewhere be in that, um, like, A tier range. I mean, he's one of the kind of, like, the OG founders of content NASCAR stuff. Is that still around? So, yeah. I don't know, somewhere, it's just weird. So that, like, there was a shit sh uh, a complete shit show with that. And I also learned a lot of shit show of, because I was just watching this last night. I can actually bring it up on, like, full screen here. I was watching this. Uh, the 2024 PBA NASCAR Invitational at Phoenix. And, you know, I'm watching it. It's like, all right, you know, they're just, they're trying to bring the bowling audience into NASCAR. And I've always had a problem with the bowling announcers because they always, they don't, it's not that they don't know NASCAR, but it just kind of feels disrespectful because, like, if anything, if anything, they should be kissing NASCAR's feet so much because NASCAR is like 20, 30 times more popular in ratings than than bowling is not nah, maybe not maybe not i'm being hyperbolic on the numbers but so largely popular compared to bowling and for them to mess up things like because randy earlier in this at the very beginning was talking about how nascar they run like 900 horsepower and go 200 miles an hour it's like we barely go 200 miles an hour in general anymore Except for maybe Daytona, maybe Michigan and Talladega, but that's like it. We don't even hit 200. That's not even the worst thing. But then for that, for him to say that we have 900 horsepower is so far behind in just, just who is giving these people notes? That's a, that's like a 10 year old note. They haven't ran 900 horsepower since 2014, maybe. Even then, I think it might have been 850. I don't know, but we have not, they have not run 900 horsepower in a long time. And it's just, it's so, it's so wrong. I'm going to, I, I want to try to find it here. There, I mean, where else do you see bowling lanes next to the speedway? And you know, Dave, when I, these guys are ripping around the track at 200 miles an hour, driving a car that's got 900 horsepower, I mean, that's some sick pressure. That's. Th I'm sure you heard it, but that's just, it's not even close. It's its not even close. It's just so, it's so wrong. I wouldn't even be talking about it if it was just that one thing. It happened again. I want to try to find it. I think I clipped it in my Discord here. Because I clipped it last night. Because it was so wrong. I mean, so comically wrong. Because it happens later in this same broadcast that there was another blunder. And this one is so bad that I have to I have to bring it up here so I clip this part I, li I did like a YouTube hold on hold on let's start from the beginning so I clipped this and I was just like okay this I have to talk I have to rant about this this is like unacceptable so I'm just gonna play this in full it's only seven seconds but you let me know what's wrong with this and AJ Allmendinger understands winning a two-time NASCAR Infinity Series champion 21 and 22. And it... hey, did you... What is wrong with that? That that first one... It's, it's, it's bad. But how... Who gave these people these notes? First of all, he said Xfinity wrong. Xfinity isn't like a random four-name brand thing. He said Infinity. It's like... It, it's not his fire suit. It literally says Xfinity right there in the shot. I, who, is it, who is Infinity? And how is he a two-time series champion in 21 and 22 when that doesn't... That never happened. That did not exist. In what you... I mean, maybe in the Winston Cup format, maybe. Sure. But... But... If we go to Racing Reference, we could just find that out right now. Oh, look at that. It's Daniel Hamrick and Ty Gibbs that won. So, how did Almendinger win those championships? How do you how do you get that wrong? Who is giving these people these notes that are so off? 
in, this isn't like they're just talking off the cuff. This is in a, a event with NASCAR drivers in it. So you would think they would do their homework and get their stats right. So it's not like they're talking during the broadcast or promoting like a race. And then sometimes, you know, I'm not even going to be salty about that. But in an event garnered around NASCAR drivers being there and it, get the fucking facts right. That's all I'm asking. Just get the facts right. Alma Digger is not, is never an Xfinity. It, first of all, it's, it's not it's not Infinity. But boy, howdy! Like, do is it? Is, are they doing it just to make Alma Digger sound more hype than what he is? Just just say the facts. I mean, well, there was actually just bring up that he's a he's a successful driver. I mean, there, there, there was like a there was like a. It, I mean, during a broadcast at some point, they did show like, oh, he had 17 wins. And so the graphics are right. Like, they actually, the graphics are actually right. It's just down to the announcer just botching it so badly. I don't even know how they get that wrong. How does he have two championships? He has three cup wins. So, the, so I, I can't even try to make sense of it. It's just a very embarrassing blunder. And it's just... I don't know how it's possible. Who gave them these notes that, that are so misinformed? I don't know. It's just uh, it's just frustrating. And it's nothing new, because I watch these bowling broadcasts all the time. And I know on record, this isn't like, oh, I found this in like a Reddit forum. It's like, oh, I found it in like Rand the, the Randy Peterson's like freaking desk of like, oh, he doesn't like, he doesn't follow an ask. No, he said it on broadcast like multiple times. When they're promoting stuff, when the other announcers like, "Hey, have you ever seen NASCAR?" And he's like, "No, I haven't." So it's like it's not crazy like foreign knowledge. It's just it's just a big old oopsie doodles blunder, and it's so frustrating. It's, it reminds me of like ESPN botching stuff where they get facts wrong all the time, and it's more frustrating with this because it's like a whole event. Like the whole thing is with other professional bowlers paired with NASCAR drivers and it's like all centered around NASCAR drivers. And so it's like, you want to get that right. You know, it's like if I'm, I don't know, I don't know what the right word is, but like if, I, if, if, if freaking bowling and tennis somehow ever, like tennis players were there, you want the broadcasters to have the proper notes where it's like you can talk about tennis players' stats and facts and all this stuff and for it to be accurate. You don't want to be giving out wrong information. It's so, it's so frustrating. I don't know why that was a thing. I don't know how, I just stopped watching at that point. So like, okay, this is just a fucking farce. Cause like, it's just, it's, I, I just like, I just, I was done. I watch it later. But man, it's just, it's just frustrating. Cause how hard is it to just make sure you have proper notes? I, I, I can't even be salty at Randy cause like he's, He's admitted it multiple times. He's very open about not being interested in NASCAR. So it's like, why? First of all, why would you even say that? Like, I would probably never ever, like, know, when you're, like, announcing, you don't want to be just saying, like, you know, oh, I, had, I have, like, no idea what NASCAR is. I don't understand, the con like, the concept of it. And then you're, if you're, it, I don't know. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't do that if I was, like, airing, like, a live I wouldn't even talk. I wouldn't even say anything negative. I wouldn't even say I wasn't watching. Like, say if I was in the broadcast booth or something and they're asking me about football, I don't think I would say I don't like football or watch it. I would just say so I wouldn't even bring it up. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even talk about it. But the fact that multiple times during broadcast, multiple broadcasts over the years, and I hear him, and it's just so, I don't know, funny because... Like, they really, they really need to be kissing NASCAR's ass because bowling has so little viewers in comparison that you don't want to just be acting like a fool. And it's, it, that, that was, so that was, that's my rant on that segment. That was annoying. Um, I just don't know how they could possibly blunder that. And chat is, uh. I just don't know how they messed that up. I need to I need to send that to like NASCAR next or something. Maybe he could put that up or something. So more, more people can 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 witness this just this this conf, this this boobery. All 
are really complaining over casual pay. It's just, it's the matter of getting facts right. That's all, that's all I want. Just get the facts right. Say, first of all, say the name wrong is embarrassing. Because Xfinity isn't a crazy word that could be mispronounced. Xfinity is like a common home internet thing. It's not... I, I don't know how that gets botched. Are they getting the championships wrong? That's just so... So embarrassing. Props to whoever did the graphics. Because the graphics are right. Because they, they were mentioning Almendinger has like 17 Xfinity wins. So they, they did good on that front. Why is my phone blooping? Why? Why does that happen? Oh, hold on. What's this? Wow. They, they, I, I got, I got the weather update for today. I'm, I'm glad I got that at five in the afternoon. Usually they do. Usually I get like that in the morning or something. That's weird. So, uh, rub your face, rub your championship in space after you win the championship in this game. If you win it, moves. <laughs> well, that'll be for next week if that happens. I like AJ. But man, you gotta you gotta get the gotta get the stats right. They mistook his two regular season championships for the actual Xfinity Series championship, apparently. Is that really what happened? Hold on, hold on. Is that really what happened? I I can't remember who wins the regular series championship. Is that is that what they're that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of funny. Is that is that real? Cuz I'm I know Almendinger won one of them, but did he win both years? Yeah, he did win in 20 like the regular season championship in 21. And in 22, I'm I'm checking it right now. Is that the, is that yeah, it is. Oh my god. Is that really what they're freaking referencing? They should, I mean, if, they should have just worded it better where, like, he was, like, the regular series champion, like, twice. Not, like, overall champion. If they were like that, then... <laughs> that's kind of funny, That Honestly, that feels like something JC would do. He would be, like, he would do that. He would be, like, Martin Truex Jr., uh, two-time champion in 2017 and 2023. <laughs> He would just say two-time champion and not clarify. He would that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Thank you, Jesus, for the $4.99. Happy birthday, Jesus. That wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> Jesus Day coming up or Easter. <laughs> Easter's coming up soon. That's very fitting for for Jesus to send me something. Thank you for the $4.99. I appreciate it. Thank you for the clarification. I would have never picked that up. Is that really what they're referencing? Is that what they got confused on? How is that possible? Because how how does that happen? Most people, I don't even think, how many people even really care about the regular series championship? Most people seem to just kind of look at the overall championship as random and stupid that can end up being. But he actually talked about, but he said oh, it was overall though. Like he was saying it was overall. That's where That's where it gets me. If he just said regular series champion, maybe that would be pretty good. Like that would honestly be kind of that we that would at least make sense. But just saying overall, what happens if he wins the regular series championship and the actual championship? Would he be like a four time champion or a three time champion? What how how does how does that work? Can you win two championships? I guess you could technically win two championships in one season with the regular and finale, but are we gonna start doing that now for everything? <laughs> Oh, Dale Earnhardt, he's actually not a seven-time champion, by the way. He's like a 13, 14-time champion because he was leading. He won the regular series championship at race 24 or race 17 because, I don't know, he was leading the points with 10 races to go. That would be the regular series. So I guess Dale Earnhardt is just, in actuality, a 14-time champion. And Jimmy is, I don't know how many, but... See how ridiculous it gets if we start counting regular series championships and the cha Can you imagine that's the timeline we live in where we can win two championships in one year? I don't know. 
why are we counting regulars here? Why? Who? How does this? How does this? I'm upset. I'm, I'm just sort of kind of upset by this now. I'm just I'm just trying to think about how batshit crazy that would be. Well, thank I th like I said, thank you Jesus for the for that update. I didn't even I didn't even think of the possibility that they're referencing regular series championships. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, he's technically not wrong. That he's a two-time champion, but it's a regular series champion, not just overall, and that's what he was clarifying as. So it's still wrong. It's still half right, but half wrong too. But still annoying. Still annoying that he was all. Randy was also mentioning that they have nine horsepower, nine horse horsepower, which they haven't had in like ten years. And honestly, even mentioning the true horsepower that they have now is kind of embarrassing to how much they used to have. And even bringing it up is just like, oh, that's adorable. JC's calling it based. That I'm, I'm like cringing over that based comment. That, that, honestly, that, that is a case where I'm, like, I'm cringing for that. Oh, my God. Holy snap, snap, crackle, and pop. Hello, Elite Precision. What's up, man? I, I've been a long time subscriber years, and I don't think I ever sent you a super chat. So, well, here you go. Lol. <laughs> Thank you for the 10. I appreciate that. I, that makes me happy. What's up, man? I've been a long-time subscriber of yours, and I don't think I ever sent you a super chat. So, well, here you go, lol. Damn it. You make me cry. You know, it was just funny, because I was just talking about tier list videos and stuff, like content creators, and like just like 15 minutes ago, I was just talking about how people that make videos like you, uh, like you, like you, jeez, I can't talk... People that make videos in the style that you do is kind of, I would kind of qualify that in like S tier. And that that's kind of, makes me happy. I just want to say that since you're here. But thank you for that. That means a lot. That can go towards food or anything. <laughs> so thank you for the 10. I appreciate that. That means a lot. Apparently it's not your first because if it was your first I would get like a little like notification like under the super chat that would say like this is this person's first time setting it. unless I don't have that setting set I don't know but usually it would kind of say something so maybe you did a long time ago I don't really remember but thank you um but yeah You need to bring back malls. Malls are still in my area. Oh my god, it's G G Jesus and Chat's birthday is coming up soon. Well, uh, happy early birthday to Jesus and Chat. <laughs> I've been waiting nine days for the NASCAR ignorance video. I make it to watch. Some old ass peels with Thunder Four. You, di I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear, Master. I'm, I'm glad to hear. This game is literally old enough to consent, which is quite a feat. Cause now I can literally make out with it. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I just, I know what. We're just gonna go on and thank my members. That's a great segue right after I say something so freaking stupid. Thank you to my members. I appreciate it. There, there is a lot there. Over fifty plus. Uh, it's, it means a lot keeps the channel going because as much as I uh, uh, don't really do YouTube full-time it is still kind of like a secondary income so getting getting that does help it does mean a lot so just thank you for the members for doing what you guys do the people that do uh, that do memberships as well I appreciate that it means it means a lot and especially with tax season coming up I'm gonna need all the channel members I, I can get because I, I that's like the one part of the year I hate is tax season because I'm still like self-employed so I still have to pay out a lot in taxes and I'm scared so I got like a big chunk of cash just ready just ready to just throw away because the freaking IRS is going to claim it or take it or destroy it I don't know <laughs> but thank you <laughs> back to full face cam uh, I appreciate that it means a lot coming from you I've been looking at those two lists, and yeah, I'm pretty unknown. 
because I didn't make none of the list. I'm surprised you didn't make any of the list. I don't know how that's even possible. <laughs> I mean, I feel like one of your biggest videos popped off with uh, the NASCAR and Fox broadcast issues and stuff. That was, I would kind of, it was really big. So I'm surprised no one doesn't know you as well. I, I don't know. Like, I, I would put, like, uh, your video slaps, Brock Beard, um, Ally Productions, I think that's the name. Um, a lot of those people that do, like, video essays and stuff, they, those are probably would be an S tier. So, yeah. And then maybe, like, a tier below that would be, like, the Let's Play video stuff. NASCAR next could be somewhere in that, like, A tier. But, I don't know. It, it's just, um... I, I I was just I was talking about it earlier about just the craziness with that. The other thing too is um, what's really interesting is I'm looking forward to seeing what the Sloppy Joe Motorsport Games tell all story is going to be telling. I'm very interested in that because for context purposes, when that game came out, he really like simped and defended Ignition a lot, which was objectively a horrific game. But he was kind of like defending it, and it's weird. And I think he mainly did it just to. I don't know, being good front faces with a company still. I don't know. So I'm hoping in, in part of that story, he kind of tells that and, like, apologizes. I think he's already done it on stream, but it would be nice to see it in, in that video again specifically because it did really make him come off, come off as, like, a mega show. And um, so I'm looking forward to seeing if there's more interesting stories. So I, I'm looking forward to that. So I don't know if I can actually catch the stream, but I'm looking forward to seeing what, what else crazy stuff went on behind the scenes, so. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, 30 minute pre-stream. Yep, it, free, it reached 30 minutes. Um, the, the Heat 5 server is ending in 8 months? What? What is that? That's a thing? That would really suck. Because Heat 5... Is that really all we're going to have? For online gaming is Ignition and then like NASCAR 15. That's it. That's all we're going to get. Boy, NASCAR. I mean, they, they killed freaking. More sport games like killed like NASCAR console online racing. It's so sad. They absolutely destroyed it. Disco Inferno made the list. Oh, that's sweet. I, I oh my god, I, I, I must not have looked closely. I can't believe that. That's cool. Saw so his lovely. He did it in his last night's stream. Huh? Because I checked this kick and I, I just saw like it was just. Man, he should have titled it something where he, where it's like he tells the story. I guess it maybe he told it during his like Heat Five lobbies, like races. I guess. No protective sleeves. I can't. I with the link you found me. It. I can't even ship it. I. I can't even do it. I have to. I have to personally go to my local Walmart and just look for protective cases. And I just keep forgetting to do it, and it angers me. And I can't believe I can't ship protective cases. Like it just. It, it's just not available online to order, and it angers me. NASCAR 14 turns 10 years old this year. Boy, it's it's sad. It's sad with how bad console. I mean, people think like Heat Evolution killed it. I mean, it kind of did without like because you couldn't do leak racing and stuff. But yeah, freaking ignition. I don't even know what would, what would be worse. Because like, technically, Ignition's online is smooth, but there's so much features rem removed and limiting that... And also, like, half the field stops. So it's kind of bad. Both are bad in different ways. <laughs> I don't even know which... I can't even imagine... Can you imagine doing, like, a tier list for NASCAR console games? Like, starting from, like, NASCAR 09, NASCAR 08. I guess you could start with Thunder 03, but I don't know if much people are going to have, like, a great frame of reference on that online back then. I know I didn't. I don't know. But is that true? They're really going to be shutting down Heat 5 servers in like 8 more months? So what, by the end of this year? That's going to really suck because then literally all the people would have is this Ignition and NASCAR 15. That would be terrible.
can the monster energy hat make an appearance i could bring that out i have it off on top of my fridge i got the hat i still got it it's in really good shape it's the truex championship hat in 2017 i found this when i went to pocono in 2018 it was like the only hat there and i picked it up and uh it's a great hat though i will say the material is weird on the front it's very i don't know how to say it it's like sticky and i, I know that there's an obvious joke there but the material is very different like it just it like kind of like dust and everything clings to it and then the back is like it's a it's a weird material i will say it's a very strange front material and I've done washings. I've, I've tried scrubbing it, and it's just like that that stickiness kind of still stays. Like it's it's a it's a material I'm not used to feeling. It's like my only complaint. But otherwise, it's, it's still a really good hat. And I try to keep it not on the ground anymore. I used to keep it on the ground, but not not doing that because after realizing that it sticks, I'm just gonna put that somewhere safe, and uh, and not have it somewhere. Maybe there will be in the background. It'll be in the background. Just do that poor hat. That's just the material of the hat. Don't take it the wrong way. I know I know we, we meme and joke and gaff, but when you get that hat and you feel it in that area, it's just sticky. I, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just weird. But anyways, imagine leaving us with ignition until now. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the other thing too. That's all you get starting 2025 until the new game so for the next unknown amount of months you're gonna have to deal with ignition <laughs> no matter like absolutely have like no choice that's really sad it would be cool to have 2025 come out sooner i don't want to feel in that area of it's like well you know what you're gonna have to get the hat someday and freaking and, and touch it you know what when you visit me it when we go on that japan trip i'm gonna personally bring that hat and say hey feel it i will personally wash it so you, so you could feel better about touching it so you know it's as clean as it could possibly be then you could feel it you'd be like oh this sticky that's apparently what you sound like apparently you, you sticky and then you know what then you'll be like you know what what is right maybe he's not insane maybe he doesn't think that there's a face on the back of that benson's car okay I'm getting mad all right i gotta stop all right anyways on to on a thunder festival <laughs> I did some practicing. I did two practice runs. One, the battery died in the controller and maybe DNF because I was trying to I was practicing and the battery died and so I learned that. Especially with Thunder 04, you don't really get much vibration unless you hit the wall or do anything. And since I'm such a god that you know I don't make mistakes. I don't have the vibrating controller. I didn't know my batteries were low, and then I found out the hard way during a practice. And then I did a second one where it was a little more conventional and things were normal, so that was good. So I have an idea of what to expect, and it's you know it's probably gonna be tough. And both of those runs, Newman did not do very well, so there's a chance we can gain a lot of points on him today. But again, he could do really well. We have we only have a nine point lead, which is scary. So we need to do really well. And also Martinsville is a big coin flop. Coin flop. I mean, yeah, it could be a coin flop. It's a coin flip of if we're going to do really well or not. So our plan for that is just to stay out as long as possible. Jimmy Johnson won a race at some point. What a, what a beast. Um, yeah, so we got Lowe's, Martinsville, and then Atlanta. Martinsville is the biggest wild card. The only thing we can do is just stay out as long as possible. And hope Newman pits and then caution comes out and he gets pinned a lap down that we can end up finishing in a decent spot and then, you know, gain a lot of points. That's really the only race I can think of we can gain, uh, like, 25 plus points more on him. That Atlanta is probably going to be tough. So we got a lot of sweat modey tracks. So what's left on the schedule? Okay, I'll show that real quick. So after those, it's also, I like how I can scroll through this really quick. So after that, it's Phoenix. So next week, the next week's stream, it'll be Phoenix, Rockingham, and then Homestead. All those tracks seem pretty good from what I remember. I think Phoenix will probably win easily. Uh, Rockingham, I don't know. Same with Homestead. 
So those are big question marks. So it's really important to just try to build up a big point lead while we can. And also, I'm running this 88 flame struck because someone in my chat last week wanted or said that their birthday was coming up and they wanted me to run like a 2001 Dale Jarrett scheme. There's obviously no 2001 Dale Jarrett scheme traditional one in this game. So the flames one will be the next best thing. So I thought it'd be fitting. And also we're running it at another night track. So that also kind of works too. And that can make JC happy where he'd be like, mm, mm, mm. That's apparently what he's doing right now. <laughs> what is that? What the fuck is that? I don't know, but that's what JC does. That you, I can't even like the amount like when he was here. If you watch that, like when he was here, he was just like, mm, mm, "Your air smells like cotton candy." And, uh, what the fuck is that? Stop. That's, but that's that's what he did, you know. I I'm just recreating what he did, you know. I'm just I, I, that's not me being weird. <laughs> oh my god. Um. No, Atlanta's not for. No, next race, next race, first race, next race will be Phoenix. Hey, check that diecast and uh, I did see it. I mean, thirty dollars is a good deal. I'm just trying to save money where I can. I'm, I'm barely eating in general. I mean, I literally just had oatmeal raisin bar cookies for, for lunch. And so I'm, I'm skipping out on so much food and just only getting really things I need, like gas for the car. That, like, I'm just on a very string thin budget until after my tax is done. Then it's like after that, then it's like, oh, phew. All right. So this is how much I have left. And we can go from there. And then maybe I'll, I'll splurge. But this whole month I've been just like rationing my foods so like it's an apocalypse. So I'm just, that $30 can be saved for just getting me gas for the week. So I, uh, I, I'd rather save that. The only Kurt in my mind is my heart. <laughs> That's so corny. No, the only Kurt car I really, really want is that 2017 500 car. That's like the only one, if I ever wanted to make a big invest with that, that would probably be it, but. I don't want to be spending 30 bucks on that. And that's like a pipe dream. That like that the 500 card. That's not because I that that's just like a pipe dream. That's like something I want someday. I don't know. I need whatever you're on right now. I don't what am I on? I'm I'm just that's the thing. If I was on something, I would be even worse than this cuz I don't I don't believe in drinking the beers. I don't believe eating the, the smoking the reefers. Like I don't I don't believe in that. Does that count as me? No. No. If it's on your bingo maybe may, if it's not on the bingo card of a bromance with JC, you know what then you know what that's that's not it. I don't know why I had an awkward silence there. You need every Kirk Bush car diecast from 2000. There would be so my I would have no I would need to get like a freaking uh, I would need to buy what uh, a storage unit to put all those cars in. There would have to be like dozens or hundreds. I don't know a lot. And you got me like almost all the release from 2001 to 2005. Anyways, on the Bristol, I know I ran, I, I'm talking for like 35 minutes. I know I'm such a freaking hugabaloo, but yeah, we have a nine point lead. Dale Jr. still kind of in this fight. He, he needs to be ahead of both of us to have a shot, but he's still just about one race behind, I think. I should actually look this up right now. So 185 minus 34. I'm looking at my calculator. So 151. So technically, he is one. He's under one full race. He's four points away from being. Or five points away from being one full race behind. So he's technically under one race still. That's, he's on the thin. He's on the thin line with that. Jeff Gordon, fifth. Uh, Johnson, 11th. Marlon, 12th. Kurt, 13th. But Kurt, still get 12th. And I'm still looking forward to that. Same with Johnson. Like, there's a three-way battle for 11th here that is very spicy. Good luck with that Phoenix Racing tie cast. Yes. Oh, God. I, there's much more thing, there's much thing, oh my god, I can't even talk. There's much more things in life that I want to kind of invest on than Kurt Diecast, unfortunately. 
I wish I had that extra disposable income where I could just do that. But I kind of had my life's quota with getting all the Dragon Ball stuff within the One Piece mangas, which that took me many years to even complete too, because it's not like I just bought all of them at once. So I'm just, I'm fine with where things are at. But anyways, let's get into this. Race weekend, chassis. Uh, we're bringing not our best stuff, but we're bringing our secondary stuff. Because I want to save our best uh, tire wear and stuff for Atlanta. So power, we're still bringing the best one here. That will still be in good shape after Charlotte. And then this, we're going to go with 80 down for 77 drafting. Obviously, we can go with, with 89 stuff, but we're going to save those for Atlanta. So we're going to go with that. Car rating of 88. And it's, you know, it's Dale Jarrett's number. That's adorable. And we're just going to get into this and, and see what happens. I, I, I just... It's going to be tough. I would imagine it's never... I mean, it's never going to be easy going from last to first. But it should be pretty d tough. Mark Martin's first. Okay, good. Newman's sixth. He's on the outside, which is really, really good. I need that. And Marlon's 17th. That's that's also bad. Kurt's 22nd, but Kurt's always seems to just get his way up to the front, so that should be possible. Car setup. We're going to default, which it already set to default. I think none of that changed, so I guess that's good. Uh, put that to manual. And we're going to do some practice. Get our feet wet. Fit a Pauly's in an alternate scheme. I like to see that. But... Yeah, playing Thunder 03 and then going to this is, yet again, a pretty big difference. All the Thunder games have a unique driving mod, which I can imagine probably was tough to get used to for people when those games were coming out from, like, each year. Just getting used to the driving mod, because you get so used to one and then you go to the next game, it's, like, so radically different. I guess if we're going to compare of the, of the three... Thunder 03 and 04 have the most similar driving model because Thunder 02 is so on a different planet than Thunder 03 that the transition from Thunder 03 to Thunder 04 isn't probably as gigantic, but it's still a bit of a difference. The NASCAR 05 is almost entirely this. It's like each game got less and less different with the driving model until they got the NASCAR 06 where you know they went to a different, completely different game engine. I don't know, I'm just spitballing opinions. But can you imagine someone trying to buy all of Jeff Gordon's like race wins? Which I don't even think is even humanly possible because some of them from the 90s just don't, don't exist. But that would be probably more insane to buy. Can you imagine someone... I, I, I'm sure even Shurex wouldn't be that hard. And actually, the one paint scheme, or the one car I would want is Dale Jr.'s 2014 second Pocono one, because I was there for that race when he won. And that wouldn't be... That, that and, the, and the Kurt one. Those are kind of special cars. And, and I didn't specify. The 2017 Day 2500 car of Kurt's and, and Dale Jr.'s 2014 uh, second Pocono one. Those are like the two special ones that I would, I would justify buying... It's very rare I'll get, like, a 164. Is a 164 the freaking big cars or the small cars? I always get that confused, and it really annoys me. Because I feel like I should know this by now. But I don't. Chat, I need help. Chat, someone be someone be a, be a, be a parent and help me. <laughs> Hold my hand, because I don't... <laughs> I, need, I need this complete confirmation. I freaking make fun of Toriyama for forgetting shit, and then I'm forgetting stuff, so I'm just... I'm no better, but... one one twenty four. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thank you, chat. One, yeah, the, what, those are like the two 124 four cars that I would want. The only, the only ones I've ever gotten... Are his uh, Kurtz 2021 Atlanta car because it was gear wrench. I had to get that because I've loved Kurtz gear wrench car forever. 
And to see a win, it was just monumental. Then Kansas, which I wasn't going to get, but then as it turned out, it was, it was basically going to be his last win anyway, so I was just like, fuck it, order it. And then and now I have it. Those are like, those are like the only other two extra ones I would probably want. But, yeah, there's really not a whole lot else to go into. What if cannot math? I'm sorry. But 24 times 2 is 48, not 62. Hold on. Hold. 24 divide. Well, times that by 3 is. That's 72. So where is the 164th coming in? 1 divided by 64 is 32, though. Where is this math? I'm getting angry. I'm getting mad. I'm going to start kicking my chair again. <laughs> oh, God. We're just going to have MRN take it away before I, I get canceled for not knowing math. So, let, 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 let's just go. Hold on. Where's my favorite? There it is. Okay. Coming to you live from the mecca of motorsports, Lowe's Motor Speedway, for tonight's NASCAR Winston Cup Series race, the UAW GM Quality 500. This is an awesome facility, isn't it? About 80% of the teams are based in this area, and these fans are serious about their racing. Add to that an amazing facility with great seats all around and 43 NASCAR Winston Cup cars, we're in for one awesome race. I guarantee that. Bobby Labonte got his first win in the 1995 Coca-Cola 600 at Lowe's, something few other drivers have done. And those other three are Jeff Gordon, David Pearson, and Matt Kenseth. Not bad company at all. Things are not going well this year for Chase Montgomery. You're right, and you can see the disappointment in his crew as well. Those guys will bounce back, though. All they need is one good finish to put their minds back on track. The UPS Ford will try for another top five finish in this one. And let me tell you something. You throw in a couple wins to go along with those top fives, and all of a sudden you're in the hunt for the championship. Stop blooping for like 10 seconds during that introduction. Come on, get, get, there we go. I'm so sorry, Phantom, that your source of income, Mercury, just completely fucked its own users over. That's disgusting. That's like the... I feel bad. I'm not really in that same position, but... I can I kind of feel that because YouTube was my main source, and then it, then it kind of changed, and it made me kind of miss the days when I was just my own boss. Now I, I have that. That's like different now. So I, I understand the feeling. That's just such horseshit. Something happened with PayPal, but I think PayPal, um, they weren't accepting money from like not safe for work creators. There's something. I don't know. It's some kind of bullshit. I, that's like a whole other thing, but that's... And then Guru Mod like, stopped doing something. <laughs> I think they stopped with the NSFW, so that, that like, that just, like, completely destroyed, like, fan bases, or just completely... That, that's, like, a whole other disaster. Like, it's so, such trash. In the ninth row, we have the Sterling Marlin Dodge. And the is appointment. Yeah. There's also alternate schemes in this race. I saw Johnny Benson. I think I saw somebody else with one. So hey, that's cool. Starting the race from the GM Goodrent Chevrolet and the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford. Jesus Christ, two dollar fee just to transfer it? God, they're just siphoning money. Ugh. I hate this world sometimes. Starting the race from row 13 will be the America Online Chevrolet and the 111 car. Well, in row 14 we have the M&M's Ford and the 180. Tumbler removed the SW work. Has been the same since. Yeah. I just I just don't know why they would get rid of it, especially if I don't know. 
Is it really that big of a deal? I don't I don't understand why certain sites just have to like completely remove it. Or they have to be so like up in arms about it. It's like making OnlyFans safe for work. It's like well that's like I guess OnlyFans whole point is to be like that, but I don't know. If it exists and it's not bothering anyone then why why would these sites get so like pissy about it? That's stupid. That that that's a whole other tangent rant on its own. But I've seen a, and heard of stories like like that. It's just sucks. Starting the race from row twenty one will be the target dodge and the David Green Pontiac. Here we go. We're in a race. Eighty three laps obviously. It's a shorter race to the compared to the six hundred one. AI checkups, that's right on cue. A lot of spots gained there on the start. Didn't expect. I, I kind of expected a little bit because it happened in my practice runs, but not gaining six spots worthy of it. So that was a little bit shocking. Or or our restart gear is pretty good. Maybe it's that too. But just want to get be careful getting through the field. Car does feel a little bit tight, but nothing too extraordinary. Thank God this car has car has power. Just, just motors on the straightaway, going like 210, which is <laughs> insane. 210 in draft, I think 204, 205 just by itself. We're like flying around here like 20 seconds a lap. Usually it's the normal is like 30 seconds or something. So that's another thing too with the uh, Thunder 04. That's the other alternate you know, state, a bit of quality. Yeah, Thunder 04 and NASCAR Thunder 03. Thunder 03, the cars definitely felt heavier. Thunder 04 doesn't quite have that. So therefore, because of that, lap times are a little bit slower. How much slower, I don't really know, but definitely a little bit slower. But then again, I am in a career mode car that is extremely beefed up and way faster than a single race car, so I'm sure these lap times are a bit... Uh, Exaggerated. Oh, there's the there's our one of the freaking Pete Nelson, whoever he is, Willie Nelson's brother, who destroyed me at New Hampshire, effortlessly, mind you. He did it so well that I I couldn't even be mad at it because it was such a clean wreck. And it's been weeks later, like a month later, and he's still mad. And thankfully, we got Ward Burn there. Well. Not anymore, but... Alright. Yeah, is he still mad enough? No, he's only 50. Okay, that's not bad. Got two fancy cars right beside each other, so that's kind of... Scary. Just gotta get through turn three, four. Just pass him. You know, no, no contact. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. Beautiful. His hatred for us will go down. As we're up to 23rd. So, yeah, we got a fast car. Kenny Walls, who started second has already dropped to 23rd. I don't feel like in any race percentage Kenny Walls would finish in a top 10. <laughs> he just always drops back so fast. The 17 car is coming but the most important thing for this race is I ideally I want to win. So uh, we gain max points on Newman. Kurt's moving up through the field. He's moved up a couple spots, so I'm happy to see that. I just don't know why between Thunder 03 and Thunder 04, they changed their configuration on the controls, where you can't use the triggers. That kind of bugs me. Because I would love to use that, use it for a game like this. But they changed it so that that's just not possible. So that kind of annoys me. Just don't hit, just don't hit her. I, I purposely let off the throttle more there so I didn't hit him. I would say Kurt has to run alternate ski in a while, but I don't. I remember not too long ago he was in uh, the rubber maid, like rookie car, so. Never mind. 
Also, another tangent I want to go on is I heard last night when I was working, because last night was just just a long day. There, there was like a fundraiser going on, and there was just a lot more people there. There was more people, well, I guess that's always a thing, but just a lot of people showed up, and not a lot of people getting to-go orders for that particular night, which is interesting. But there was a lot of people there, and it turned out that uh, they upped their prices by like $3, and I'm just sitting there rolling silver just thinking to myself, oh, that's not, that sucks. Because they upped them once before, maybe after COVID, so this is like maybe you know, four years ago, but I would always know the prices because there's only a couple things I would ever get there. But I remember like their half a rack of ribs would be like fourteen ninety nine, and then it went up to like fifty ninety nine. So like, okay, it's a dollar, you know, whatever. Times change, inflation, sure. But now it's eighteen ninety nine for a full rack, so they they hiked it up three extra fucking bucks. And I'm just sitting there like, that sucks. And they can do all that, but they can't increase the minimum wage from seven twenty five to something else. They can hike their regular food prices up, but they can't just pay their the, the, up the minimum wage a little more. So it's I'm sure I'm sure they're happy they're freaking ecstatic they're up in the prices but like what about everyone else what about why can't we hike those minimum wages up why why do things gotta suck so much so then there was somebody talking about oh if I was if I was the manager I would make the half dozen roll be like fourteen dollars it's like no no it don't need to be like that. Having like a freaking dozen rolls be like 529 is freaking awesome. It does not need to be freaking freaking 13, 12 dollars. One roll is not a dollar worth. Sorry, I, I disagree. That's my tangent. Also, Newman's bad. Oh my god, he's like 12. Yes. Yes, that is what we need. We need him to have a very midday. That is such a great timeline. Thank you, Newman. Thank you, Marlon, for checking up a little bit. Ooh, that was, a, that was kind, of a, kind of a weird corner there for me, but we're okay. That's the type of race we need. We need Newman to not run well. I didn't. I, every practice run I did, he was always in a top five. He's still really competitive, but this is the first I've seen it where he's just running outside, almost outside the top ten. So I'm kind of surprised by that. But yeah, that's my tan. That's my little rant there. It's just I don't understand. <laughs> So if we ever do go down to Roadhouse again, I'm, I'm definitely going to go with the... Because we did this last time, and it was a good idea. Johnny Benson's legitimately running sixth. I just noticed that. He's still up in... He's still in the top ten. Damn. Good for him. Yeah, that's my that's my tangent. That's my rant. Well, we're gonna de definitely if we go down there next time. I mean, we're gonna employ the the strat I did last time. This is before the prices went up, but I was just thinking like, oh, this would probably be better. So what, the the idea is to get like a full rack of ribs, which they 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 still split it up into like two halves. So it's just like, well, that might be like, Jesus Christ, that was like twenty one before. It's probably like twenty four ninety nine now. Yeah, just. Both me and my mom just would have to go down and get like a full rack and then just have like sides and then meal will be infinitely more cheaper than getting two separate ones. Glad I have a discount that helps with that, but still, that's, that sucks.
Frosty. Ooh, boy. I thought I was going to hit him. Still thought I was going to hit him. What, are we, what, are, what is chat going on about that I don't work there? I I still do. <laughs> Nothing's changed. I'm still working there. Why, why is that? Why is that narrative trying to be spun? It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, we're, we're P6. Car fast. I don't know if Dale Jr. is still leading. Or is leading. I'm assuming it's still Mark, which is which is always good. Yeah, Junior's third, Stewart's fourth. Yeah, we're, we're definitely really fast. We're about halfway on fuel, we're on lap 16, I think, so. We're on lap 32, we should be pitting 31. Oh, it's on your card. I, okay, I didn't know. still can't read that that is true that is true it's hard to it, i can't look through chat as predominantly as before because now i'm racing I'm, I'm trying to focus Psychologically, <laughs> the way you edit it psychologically bothers me. Do you want me to freaking leave in the pit stops? I thought that's like that's not nearly as interesting. I remember I used to leave in the pit stops, but I just don't because like the pit stops mostly are. I just I don't I don't know I just I just cut them out. <laughs> yeah. What if not being able to race you end up being a car? That that that's that's, like, that's that's pretty. Good. That that seems like it seems like such an easy one to, to for that to occur. So what's also uh, what I'm impressed by right now is leaders are still packed together. First, second, and third are just kind of under a blanket. Stewart's lost a pack. We're trying to close in, so it's interesting. It's not just one person pulling away, so that is that is unique. Usually it's just one person. You know what, JC? Don't want to really anger you. When I The next time I record a Thunder 03 season mode video, I'm going to show half of the pre-race ceremony, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the driver order out of order. And then I'm going to flip the video in reverse, upside down, Reverse the audio, and then, 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 you, then you, be, <laughs> then I can get you something really ups, upset to be bothered with. Kind of worried about the pit cycle just because I don't know how that's going to cycle out for us. Sometimes the pickers been on their best behavior. Sometimes we lose time. So I don't know. It's all going to come down to how well they do it. That was three. Three tenths gained that lap, and I'm just going to lose all of it there because I just threw away the corner. You know what, for the next video I record, JC, I will make sure to play the whole pit road sequence 
just for you. I will I will make sure it is it is shown. And I'm gonna put in caps, JC wanted this. Hope you're loving the content. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why can I not just properly pass Stuart? And he pitted early, so that's probably really smart for him. Yeah, we're pinning this lap. I don't want the, the AI to get too much of an undercut on me. Stuart might actually cycle out into Lee because he is close enough, so... This pet cycle will be interesting to see what 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 comes of it. Is anyone else doing that? Nope. I'm just the only one. Alright. 70. Woo! Perfect. Alright. Crew chief, I'm off the pace because I'm pitting. That's what's going on. You know what? I should just black out this screen right now so JC doesn't see the pit stop. That would really get him upset. <laughs> This top uh, estimated time was 15.7. And I don't, I don't know. I'm getting bad vibes about this one. It may not be fast. Nope. They failed the estimated time. 16.8. A wall trip's going to beat me out of Piro. So we're going to cycle out terribly. Because wall trip was, was behind me when we entered. Don't let Paige into Kenseth. Oh, we're still going to beat him out of pit road, barely. So, yeah, uh, that's bad vibes all around that we're going to cycle out terribly or we're going to lose time to leaders. Theoretically, we should gain time because we did undercut them, but we had a bad stop, so that might kind of hurt us. So, uh, I don't know. Somebody in my comments did say to do one qualifying lap in Thunder 03, but then I was just thinking to myself, but then I would start first and literally win. I should just show the pre-race and then just... So I, I really could do what Phantom's suggesting there. <laughs> show the pre-race, have it be like a normal video, but then after the pre-race, I just it's just me and Victory Lane winning. That would be what would happen if I just qualified. It would be... It would be... It would be funny, but... It'd be like a five-minute video then. That would be a good April Fool's Day video, though. Which is coming up, but I don't think what I have planned will be uploaded in February, like, uh, April 1st. So I have, like, I already have up till Michigan recorded, so that's race 15. The race 10 is just up, so I, I'm, a, I'm a couple races ahead, so... Can't do it for April Fool's Day, but... That would be a good April Fool's Day video. <laughs> 48, 46. Send me something in DM. I'll have to check that out. Am I really 6th? 4.7 seconds back of the leader? Are you freaking gaffing me right now? I lost three seconds during that pit cycle because I was like 1.6 back. That is unreal. Thank God Newman's not leading because I don't know if we're going to actually have a shot to win this race now. I don't think I can make that up. And if we keep losing time during pit cycles, then we need to not only get the lead, but then have like a three second buffer just to be safe. So in theory, I would need to gain like seven seconds in this run. Which isn't really possible. Do qualify in the drive road. That's so. That's so mean. That would be such a. Tr and it, it, but it's also something that he did. I don't want to be like copying him. I remember way, way back in Thunder 03 career mode, I did something like that. Where it started off as a normal video, and then it just me winning. 
It was like a it was like a six minute video. <laughs> I don't know, it's something. I did do something like that years ago, years and years ago. Kenzif. Well, then I then I can't really aim arc. Well, then he then Kenzif gives me like no angle in the corner, and then it leads me into not being able to pass him. Why can I not pass Matt Kenzif? Should not be that hard now. God damn it, Kenza, stop blocking. Stop. Stop blocking. Like what? It's just... It's a top five, sure, but... Emulator, I can't have you do that either. Finally. Finally get into the inside one. That was way too many laps just wasting just trying to get around him. We need to make up this freaking time. And also since Newman's right there behind me, we need to gain more points on him. Now I'm going to have to be dealing with lap traffic as well, which I'm, I'm sure is not going to give me any breaks. Four point six back. I haven't gained anything yet. Like that's wow. Now we're gonna be behind the whole rest of this race, trying to make up time. Matt Kenseth brick. Well, that's a great. That's a great use of the emoji. I will say that. That's my fault. I barely even gained time that lap, and I was not in any traffic, so I don't... They pitted, like, one lap after me, so, like, the tire advantage shouldn't be that big. If any, I don't think there should be any, because I was clearly gaining, like, so much time on them before. We lost time! How? Well, I... Well, never mind. I ran to a lap car last time, but... Yeah, it's like, any chance we had to win this race is done. I really, really wanted to win this this flame truck at least once. Flame car. God, I can't even talk. And that's just that opportunity is just completely squandered. And Newman is still fast. He's still right there. Two lap cars just side by side. That's not at all what I need. It's almost like we gain more speed on the front straightaway than anything else, which I don't know how that happens. No, crew chief, he's not coming right. He's literally getting passed and will not be passing me back. So don't act like he's going to actually try to make a pass back on me. It's almost like when we don't have lap traffic to deal with, I'm I'm a good bit faster because now we're closing back in. But if I if the picker is gonna keep dropping the ball, like we're only three seconds, like we really realistically should be only like 1.8 seconds back. But the picker cost me like three seconds, and I pitted before them. I pitted before those cars in front of me. The only car that I, I pitted before me was Stewart. Unless he's leading somehow, I don't know. I don't I don't see him up there. So maybe he is leading. Maybe that undercut just gained him three seconds. I don't know. Well, I'm assuming Stuart's leading with that undercut. It's a smart strat on his part. Mark, poor Mark Martin. I really wanted Mark to win this race, and he just got destroyed by Pit Strat. And also, Newman's trying to pass Kenseth, which is, is not good for me. I 
gonna do a thou two thousand crew? No, I'm not doing anything with under two thousand. I'm not doing any more career mode stuff. I've done. I've done my. I've done my share of stuff in the past. I really have no interest in uh, doing a two thousand butch career. I barely really have time just to just do my regular season mode stuff. I don't really have extra time to be throwing in other series. Still gaining on the leader, which is good. I think we definitely got a long run car. I mean, remember, even at the end of the run, the car still ha the car handles fine. Did I say butch? I'm sorry. <laughs> I did hear about them making them. I might, I'll probably do a stream of it just to look at everything. So I'm sure it'll be cool to kind of see it. I can guarantee that happening though. What, what did, why did Harvard, Harvard just choked on the trial. <laughs> that made that pass a lot easier. How, how do I let that happen? Where Biffle drives by me on the outside. That, that's embarrassing. We'll at least pass him now. I just can't believe we lost so much time during that bus cycle. Three seconds worth. Tony Stewart just like won this race by pitting one lap early, that early early part in the race. That's like the difference. Then again, our pit crew cost us like an extra second, so I can't even say three seconds on track was because of the pit cycle. It was really just two seconds. Go good Roth turn two. Mark can't block that. He could block these nuts though. I wish I could. Oh, I wish I could have slid up the track a little more to get a better arc. That was not a good angle. But we'll get the spot. Beautiful P3. Still gaining time on leader, which is nice. Are we really gonna be like Tony Stewart's gonna win this race because of that short pitting? That's that's what I'm sensing. I didn't really think that undercut, that one lap would have been such a difference. When you couple it with the bad pit stop and then that, it's, it, probably, it probably explains it. Alright, three seconds back. I mean, I can at least see Stuart, so there's that, but it's just, I don't think it's enough time be pinning in the next four or five laps. I could do my best Dale Jr. impression as much as I want, but it's never going to be accurate because I'm not going to wreck from it. It's just not how this game works. But but I yeah, it, it's, it's it's an attempt. That's three tenths. We're definitely faster, at least on the long run we are. Didn't think I would say that. Usually the AI always kind of have the advantage on the long run, but with this track, it seems like we're able to gain more time on long run. So that's interesting, but the gap is... It's all going to come down to how the pit stops work. And we're so far back now. Stuart does pit with me. Or if I see Stuart pitting, I can just pit with him because I'm so far back. So there's some kind of advantage with that. That was another three times chopped off. Oh, it's so frustrating. Like, we're definitely so much faster. We 
just waiting to see what Sturt does. I don't know if he's going to be really stupid and pit like a, like a lot later. I mean, my plan is to pit on lap 62. Gained a whole lot of time that lap, maybe a little bit. No, oh, never mind. That was even faster than before. Okay. I clearly don't know gaps in time very well. Oh, Stuart's behind a lap car. That helps us out. Rare to have a lap car mess up the AI. I thought Stuart was going to pit that lap, but. Yeah, we're gonna pit next time. By if he doesn't pit, then we're gonna do the juicy undercut on him for a change. That would that would feel nice. We'll see what he does. But I'm pinning this lap. All right. All right. Pitting. Don't speed. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, four tires and fuel out and away. Not repair damage. You don't have any damage. It's all going to come down to Picker. They just have to hit their bare minimum. And we did undercome, so we should, in theory, by all metrics, have the advantage. But we'll see. I'm actually really impressed that there's no damage on this car in any capacity. All right, and that's going to be a 15-5. So the picker do hit their estimates. Time to do what they need to. I can't even blame them for that this time. All right, now just, just merge. Stay up high. Don't want to interfere with, with Kurt. Oh, oh, I, I kind of did, but I don't think it's slowing down. Can I actually get through the corner normally? Thank you. That was a little, little herky-jerky there, but we got it all to work out. So by all metrics, by all facets of reality, we should be pretty close to Stuart when this all cycles through. If we somehow still lose time for that, then I don't know what to even blame it on because the picker did what they need to. I guess, I guess we're just going to have to find out. But Now this is all just a big old waiting game to see how this all cycles out. Stewart's pitting, I think. I can't, that's somebody else's pitting, but. Okay, Stewart's actually in front of me, so that, I guess he did pit at some point, so. How is New, is, if Newman is just legitimate, I don't think he's, I think he's a lap, I think the pit stop's still going through. But yeah, so everything, I mean, when it does cycle through, Stewart's gonna still have the advantage on me. And I don't know how. There, there goes Newman. There goes... Okay. So I'm, I'm even more perplexed by that. Because I, by all metrics, I undercut him. I did exactly what I needed to do. Marlon's up here somehow. How did that happen? So I, I truly don't understand how I gained no time during that cycle. When I undercut him. How come when Stuart can undercut me, he gains like two seconds on me. But then when I do it, it's like nothing changed. How is this possible? Also, Harvick is now just really fast. <laughs> How did, when did this happen? He put it at the same, I think a lap after me. I 
I hope the tire wear kicks in before the end of this race because we're going to need that kind of to kind of help us. So we are now 1.5 back, so it might the interval might have stayed the same. I'm not really sure. Also, it's not going to help with Marlon blocking me though. I'll tell you that much. Marlon, get your freaking old bug-eyed ass up. That's not even, you, your bug-eyed joke is not going to work on me. There. Got by him. We lost a tenth that lap dealing with all that. Alright, if anything, more than ever, I need lap traffic to hold him up. I just can't believe Harvick is this fast. Oh, look at that. Look at that gap on this. We lost a tenth still. I guess we just have a way better long run car because short runs, we just don't have the speed. I thought that was a normal lap, but no, you just gained a tenth on me. Gonna lose another tenth? Yeah, lost another tenth. I don't understand that. It might be too little, too late before the car actually. I guess the tire wear really kicks in for them, where we start to have the advantage. Why can I not pass Casey Mears without any freaking problem? That that little bit of slow up is gonna hurt us. I, I just don't get it. I undercut him and it just like gains me nothing. But Sora can undercut me and it gains me two, gains him two seconds. How? How? That's so. It's so annoying. It's so frustrating. And now Harvick's just really really fast. No. No, I don't want you to pass me, Harvick. I've already lost. I'm, I want to gain more points. That's two tenths lost that lap. Oh my god. I I really don't even think it mattered even if I pitted with Stuart because he just keeps gaining time on me in ways that I just I can't even explain. Not, do we enter in the corner like that doesn't help where I just throw it all away. I just love how the lap traffic just just lets them go, no problem. But then they race you hard, like their life depends on it. When you, when it's you, it's just so so bullshit too. Even if the tire wear does eventually kick in, it's just not enough time. We have we've lost too much. I just can't believe how. It, Thank God it's not Newman leading. That's like the only positive. We're going to actually gain a, lot, a good chunk of points on him. Because I don't even think he's in the top five. So that's really good. Just I really wanted to win just to just maximize the day. But it's just not going to be possible. Another tenth lost. I, I, I don't know what else I could even do. At least that lap in particular, I thought that was a fine lap, but no, they're just like a good tenth faster than me. Because I can't really go through the corner any quicker. They just got insane short run speed. doesn't help too that you know lap traffic blocks and chops you off and everything and that time in the corner just decided hey we're just gonna go straight so that doesn't help
still gained a tenth somehow that lap, which is which is cute, but it's really not enough. this freaking race. Of course. Of course, Kenny Walsh just in the way. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. yeah. I like how you give Stewart just no problems, but then you give the second place driver just like the worst thing imaginable. And I have no arc in the corner, so there goes all that time. And now I'm playing fucking patty cake with, with Kenny Walsh. It's fucking stupid. Fuck off. What is wrong with you? Just let me go. For like three laps to go, I'm, I'm passing you for a second. Why on earth can I not just get by him? Go. Like, holy shit. It's like I have more of a better chance passing them on the front straightaway than I do on the back for some reason. <sighs> Man, this just sucks. I really, I really thought I had a shot. But, nope. And, of course, right as we're hitting, like, two to go, now we're gaining time on store. How fucking is depressing is that? Well, we should gain decent points on Newman regardless. We're gonna have fucking Robbie Gordon and Fittipaldi freak out there. Damn, man, I really thought I had a shot. Where did Newman finish? That's all I want to know. So I think he finished 7th last time I was looking. No, 6th, okay. Damn, I really want to. Kirk got 8th at that. I know it worth it. Day worth it. for all these teams because that can mean only one thing. No major wrecks. The UPS Ford doesn't look any different than when it started this race. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen in these NASCAR Winston Cup races. When you finish a race and your car still looks brand new, You've done one heck of a job as a driver. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing, brought to you by EA Sports. So long. We'll see you next week at the Martinsville Speedway. I that was that was just a race where I don't know what more I could have done differently. I just they just had like insane short run speed. They always kept beating me out of pit road. Even even me undercutting Stewart did nothing. How like how is that even possible? And Newman led a lap somewhere amongst all that, so that's 155 to 170. So we only gained 15 points on him. Jeez. Poor Mark had a great day and then fell to fifth. I don't know what really happened with him. Jimmy led a lap at some point. Kurt somehow ends up eighth after starting 22nd. Marlin was up there, so he gains points on. That's four points. I, I'm happy to see that. Wasn't expecting that. Ward Byrne just effortlessly 10th. Benson just effortlessly 11th. What? How? And the rest of it. A lot of cars lap down. Kenseth blew up. That's... Well, considering he was driving me like a douche, that's karma. So we only had... Ooh, boy. Uh, 24 on lead lap. That's just a race ride. I don't know what more I could have done. I could have entered the corners a little bit better, but I don't think that would have gained me another extra second and a half, so I don't know. Lap traffic just always keeps being a fucking problem. We had such a fucking good car in the long run. I like how Stuart can undercut me by one lap, and we lost our sponsor. That Not surprising, but really, I would have been nice to really get a win in that freaking car just, just for funds. What about primary, though? What, what have we got for primary? Hold on. We could be Bill Elliott. Oh my god. I, we need to be Bill Elliott. <laughs> yes. Please. 
Well, let me build Bill Elliott. Freaking Kawiki's like. Not only does he does Allen beat Bill Elliott in the in the nine car, but he freaking will take the nine car from him. I I like that. Oh my god, there's like Alan Quickie like co co like connections parallels all over the place. That is yes. Yes. Yes, we're Bill Elliott. I'm okay with this. Chassis, uh what what can you really do here? That's still in good shape. That could be repaired, I guess. Sure, we'll repair that. Yeah, we'll overhaul that. Engine, that's still in good shape. Bodies, uh, everything still looks good. Oh, that goes up to 90. We'll overhaul that, sure. 1.1, sure. Mass. Finish ahead till you start. I'm going to lose the sponsorship no matter what I do. Even if I win the race, it's it's always going to go down because I, I, don't, I don't qualify. So it really doesn't matter. Laser scanner is eight races away. Point situation. So our gap to Stewart is, what, or Newman 24? Yeah, 24. Junior's went up a little bit. Junior is now, now is officially one full race behind. How did Junior gain only... How did I only gain five points on Dale Junior if Junior... I think he finished fourth. I don't know. Yeah, we're, let's see. What do we got for Bell? A Brickyard, that's a good car. Dodge dealer test car is not. We got a Muppets. I'm going to go with the Brickyard one. It's a good looking car. And I like how like when the, the paint's peeling, it shows like brick under it. It's a cool detail. I like that. We're going to go with that. And it's going to be a shit show race. And we need to kind of go into the race with a car that's already damaged. I think that's kind of fitting. But yeah. I, I'm, I'm okay with this. I like I like this timeline. <laughs> I'm surprised they gave me that package sponsor. So where's Kurt? Johnson's still 11th. Marlon, Kurt only 7 points back. Marlon's only, or Johnson's only. I think Johnson actually had a really good run. So he's, he's going to, he gained on that. Now Kenseth with his DNF. Is now in the 10th. <laughs> now we got a four car battle for 10th. 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. All just really close together. Separated by 60 points. That's even more insane. I, what, a, what a freaking battle we have for 10th. I like that. I should change the stream title to like I'm like... Keep the title, but just include the fact that I am now Bill Elliott. <laughs> I need to do that now. What a weird turn of events. I, I forgot that Bill Elliott had that car. I completely forgot. Or Bill Elliott retired. Damn it, now the tire's too long. That's still too long. There we go. Bodies, what can we do? We already did something there. Alright. Martinsville. Both Martinsville and Atlanta are tracks that we really need to have good cars, but we can't pick everything. Rally racing's cool. I like rally racing. It's fun. Yeah, 
you need a bricked up car for Martinsville. I see what you did, Master. That that's honest. That's also a good way to look at it too. So yeah, twenty four point lead. That's good. That's that's it's a step up. I just really wanted that win. Stewart, that was the second win of the year, believe it or not. Well, on to Martinsville. Uh, chassis, I do want to bring decent tire grip, and number four is probably good. We're number eight, we'll say number eight for uh, for Atlanta. That should be good with chassis four engine. We're gonna save number nine and bring number four just because. Well, the efficiency better is that might matter for like fuel. I have to begrudgingly use number nine, I think. Body. Um, what is going on, my lord? Oh. Oh, you did run the Muppet car. <laughs> okay, that explains it. I swear, I get so I get so many bloops, and half the time I don't know if it's my mom or JC. My mom and JC freaking message me just as much. My JC messages me almost as much as my mom does. A good, oh my, oh, JC is now my mom confirmed. Downforce, uh, we'll save number eight for Atlanta. We'll bring number six. Eighty-nine car rating. I'm fine with that. There's a nine in there. In our, our, that, that that works too. We only had that Dale Jr. car for what, like four races? <laughs> it, or three races? It did not last very long. Boy, we're going to need that caution glitch to save us, I think. Junior, oh, Newman's third. Kurt's usually good at short tracks, so I'm expecting him to run well too. Well, maybe. Never mind, I guess he's just going to start 19th. But he's on the inside line, though, which is good. You just leave me on right. I read it in my heart, JC. That's the most important thing. And JC, you need to see your local Dodge dealer. I need some practice here. I... If I want to survive in Martinsville, I got to be a little bit acclimated with this track. Uh, case in point, that. Wall pops. I don't need that. I think this is a track, too, where the AI just kind of... They can potentially die bomb it in the corners, so... A chance that my ass is gonna get destroyed. <laughs> I should. Oh my god, emulator! I should just send the jacket and not tell you. Then it just shows up one day. That's fucking evil. Oh my god. Well, sometimes when you send me messages, I just don't know what to say. I just look at it and I'm just like... I, I just... What was the... Controller, what... What what was that behavior? It just it just stopped me. I'm even more baffled by that. That made no sense. It just it just like held the brakes for me. I don't I don't even understand that. I don't know, chat. I, I really don't know what that was. It just stopped me. My controller just worked against me. Whoa, 
I will say as a precaution, if something radical happens with if my controller, it dies out or, or, or something weird happens and I DNF from that, I, I will res I will definitely restart it. I'm not going to have my championship ruined because the controller just stopped working. I will give myself that mulligan. I did see it. I, I did see it. I don't know why he had such a hard time racing around the track. Because I remember, I think I did that when he ran that racetrack last season which that was like a year ago now or something i went on dirt daytona just to run it and it was like easy i don't know i don't i don't really know why he had such a hard time with it I was thinking about maybe adjusting fourth gear, but it doesn't really seem like it's causing a problem. So I think I'm going to leave it as is. Either way, I think this race is going to be a shit show no matter what, so... We're going to probably watch things just kind of... To bulge into chaos. Your previous track record was set back in 2018. Good lord. That was ages ago. I feel like a lot of weird things happen on this emulator that d probably don't happen on the ch on a traditional controller or console. Cause I don't know why it just, it just did that. It was like registering my brake for like really long. Should I hold by? That is possible. I agree. I need to be better at that. I'm gonna try to be better with that. Thank you, Crew Chief Phantom. There we go. I'm starting to I'm starting to hit the cores a little bit better now. Look, keyword is a little bit better. Not that time. Running dirt, running the whole race bread practice. <laughs> Stop! I just need practice a little bit. Uh, we're just gonna. All right, we're just gonna get into this. We're just gonna get this over with. I just, I just know, some bad's gonna happen. So I just, it's just a Mar it's Martinsville. I just have to be banking on that caution glitch saving us, and putting Newman like a lap down or something. That's like all I can hope for. <laughs> This 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 race will almost determine our the, the future of this championship. All right, uh, let, cop, let have Amaran take it away. Hello, everyone. We're glad you could join us at the historic Martinsville Speedway for today's Subway 500 on MRN. And Barney, this is one of those tracks where the term Rubbins Racing says it all. Drivers work the brakes hard at this racetrack. It's like two drag strips with short turns. The wear and tear these cars take from the track is bad enough. Then add in some good old beating and banging with other cars. Now that's stock car racing. Baby. Alternate scheme, Tony. Rusty Wallace will try to use this race to gain a couple spots in the points. I had a chance to talk to him this morning, and he's looking forward to this race. He feels they have a very strong car that can pick up some more points this week. We'll keep an eye on him. Kyle Petty had a very rough season in 2002. 
Boy, did he ever. With no top 10 finishes and an average finish of 27th, you know it's a year he'd like to forget. The Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge will be sporting some new sponsors in this one. I spoke to the crew chief on that car this morning about the new sponsorship deal, and he feels like it's going to be good for everyone involved. I look for this team to really start coming alive here very soon. that we have alternate schemes as always that brings joy to my dead heart Tony Stewart in his 2001 scheme Kyle Petty obviously we saw that earlier and we're starting dead last uh, I don't really worry about their practice lap speeds Phantom because typically in practice the AI just run way faster in that versus race trim but we'll see we will see Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Chat. Chat. Other chat members hold each other's chat hands in, in, in holy matrimony as we embark on this scary journey of Martinsville. I I just we, we just gotta survive. Don't DNF. Try not to bring out a yellow. Let have like let's have a natural glitch caution. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't even know if that's even possible, but here we go. I do remember they check up in turn one. So I'm banking on that a little bit. Don't know why Harvick's back here. Oh, I already got right side damage. I didn't really want right side damage like immediately, but that was relatively clean. All things considered. All right, just I gotta back up the cores even more. I was trying to break right past the NASCAR Racing Series sign. Like right at the end of it, but even that seems to be a bit too early. I don't know if we're just like carrying too much speed or, or what. But I know someone in chat said like keeping a fourth gear safe fuel. It it should in theory work, but I don't know if the game is that smart to to register that. But I should do it just for this run, just to see what we can do. I mean, we're already up to twenty sixth. A lot of that's because they. They check up early in the corners. But we needed that. Just to have some cars in between us and the leader. Because the leaders will catch this pack very quickly. Sorry, Ward. Oh, we lost friendship points with Ward because of that. No. Why am I friends with Ward Burns specifically? Of all the drivers, why is it not freaking Kurt? So obviously, plan is, unlike the Bristol race where I, st I still pitted too late, or I guess still too early, we're going to try to stay out as long as we possibly can. I know, I can't believe MRN lied about Kurtz or Kyle. Wait, they, oh my god, they lied about, did, I, I'm pretty sure Kyle Petty had like, like one or two top tens in 2002, what are they talking about? Did they get that wrong? I never knew this. Still learning about this game like 21 years after it came out. Oh, no, Phantom, Phantom's doing his best, um, actually, without the nerd emoji. Um, actually, Kyle Petty had this many top tens in 2002, not zero. Ugh, they're so wrong. I'm, I can't believe we're in the top half of the field. I thought it would take a lot longer.
don't tell me I'm gonna have like really hard time passing Kenny Walls. Happened at Charlotte for Lowe's. Don't tell me it's gonna happen here too. Because it really shouldn't be that big of a problem. just me not being in third gear doesn't help. We just have, like, no power off the exit. Is this just where our car is going to stall out? Uh, out? Oh, my God. Stall out at in 20th or 21st? That's all the car can do? You had a hard time pat the kitty at the hardware store. I, I, JC, I'm going to come over there with a frick of banana, and I'm going to make banana smoothies out of you. I I need to downshift. I, I, I cannot just be chilling in 21st. This car has to have more in it than 21st place, for God's sakes. No, I, I apparently can't. I This is just all the car can apparently do is 21st. Like, how? It's just like Bristol where we, we kind of got to like 25th and just stalled out. It's kind of the same principle here. That is really sad. I, I don't know what to really say about it. It's just really disappointing. And even downshifting, it just doesn't get us extra anything. Like, it doesn't even matter. I keep going through the corners too fucking fast. Yeah, I'm just sort of, sort of at a loss for words right now. This is not what I was expecting. I thought I would be able to get through the field a little bit better. This is just, I, I don't even know, I, I got nothing. We really, really need that caution glitch to save us because if it just goes green the whole way, we're going to be even more screwed because I'm going to be purposely staying out so much later. I'm going to be so off sequence or they're going to have such an advantage on me because they're going to be pitting so much earlier. It's going to just destroy the whole race because I'm banking on that occurring. I can't wall ride in this game. It'll, I'll literally like DNF from it. Not really DNF, but I mean, it's just going to put me in a horrible spot. Oh my god. I, I'm i trying so much to just back up these corners. I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just carrying too much speed still. I don't know how much slower I need to go in the fucking corner. I keep fucking overdriving it still. Like, where, I don't, like, my and my car is so good now, or it's so fast, I don't, like, my braking zones are, like, way different now.
finally, for the first time in like 20 laps, 20, 20 I don't know, 15, 20 laps, we're gonna pass someone. And Kurt's falling back, so that is just more of a tragedy of a race than I've ever imagined. Unless we have a long run car that kind of happened at Charlotte where eventually you were able to make up time and stuff, but I don't know. I just can't believe I even made a pass. What is this, like the 2022 cars at Martinsville where just nobody could pass? It was like it was like that was occurring for the last like 20 laps. Come on, Kurt. Pass Steve Park. It shouldn't be that hard. Oh, apparently it's that hard. Alright, well, I gave him an inadvertent bump. That helped. He, not, that got him by Park. You know, I thought about it. I was like, you know what? It's probably a bad idea. It's weird to think Kurt has two Marnsville wins and then... Most of his career, he really wasn't that great at Martinsville. I remember in 2003, he won it. Then 11 years later, he got another one. But he typically isn't, like, a really good at Martinsville. I don't know. It's his stats there at Martinsville are weird. Last I remember looking at him. You would think Martinsville and Bristol, he would be, you know, he would if he's good at Bristol, he should be good at Martinsville. But, nope, he's just getting outrun by a fantasy car. That's what I'm learning about. That's even more... Traumatic. Never mind. He's a lap, a lap down. Wow, that was a that was a terrible corner. Damage on the right side is that triggering your OC? It, yeah, it is. I I've accepted that pretty quickly because it happened like immediately as the race started. So I, I couldn't even get an emotional attachment to the to the car looking clean. It just lasted so little amount of time. Oh, that's great. Nice to have lap cars just, you know, block and chop me off and do his other bunch of shit. That's, yeah, that's how, like, a caution happens. Trying to fucking pass lap traffic that's literally blocking me into the... You're gonna hit the barrels doing some of that stupid Mr. AI driver. Imagine being a lap car and just not fucking moving over. Thanks for the hood damage, probably. I just can't believe I passed any other extra cars. That's like a warranted freaking die bomb. It just like just move. If that was a lead lap car, sure. You know what? That would be a bit mean. No. No. Stay behind me. Especially a track like this. Having the freaking buttons to brake is so freaking miserable. I, th that's where I need, like, the pressure sensitivity, like, buttons to really, like, save me. Well, he won it here in 2002. Never mind. I, okay, I got my years wrong. I was thinking 2003, but I think he swept New Hampshire's in 2003 and then Bristol. I think that's where I'm getting my information from. And Bristol. And I swept both Bristol's in 03, so never mind. Jimmy, what were you... Why... 
Ooh, that's good. People pitting. That, that's what we need. I just need Newman and Junior to pit. I need them to pit early. Screw their races up. I saw Stuart Pitt, I saw Gordon Pitt. That's good. This is what we need. There it is. There's the caution glitch. That's what, we, what we've been waiting for. Gordon, what are you, why is he stopping? What is wrong with you? You moron. I wasn't expecting that. What, what, it, Jeff Gord brought the caution? Usually it's like Fittipaldi or Ward Burton. But I guess it could be the car that's this first on Piro, but it's never typically Jeff Gordon. So I guess he was slow because he already hit the caution? Or he already hit the finish line? What a weird... Alright, that's, wasn't expecting Jeff Gordon. But yeah, we're pitting. Uh, okay, that kind of explains why Jeff Gordon was really slow then. Because he already hit the finish line, so his AI is just going slow. That's even more bizarre. <laughs> I never haven't seen that. I haven't not seen that specifically where it's Jeff Gordon. Usually it's like Fittipaldi or Burton. That's that's a first. That threw me off. I was wondering why he was stopping. That, that would explain it then. So what is the field order going to look like? Newman's still fourth. Okay. Uh, he did, he led three laps, which is not good. We're eighth. We're currently on the lead lap. How many cars were a lap down? Okay, 16. 16 on lead lap. Everyone else a lap down. That destroyed Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart's day. So we st we're still going to have to raise Newman for this. That's even going to be more frustrating because we're, like, so not even close to being competitive with him at all. Like, we could lose all those... All, all the 25 points we gained just could be lost in this one freaking race. Well, I clearly didn't know it was Jeff Gorin at the time. I, I couldn't have possibly foreseen something that usually doesn't typically happen. Alright, out of pit road. Are we just about to beat Newman out of pit road somehow? Okay. No, Newman's, Newman's first. Benson's just second. And now we're going to have so many lap cars in the mix of all this. Or maybe not. Never mind. So I... Hold, hold on. We gotta, we gotta look at the freaking race results here on the back straight because this is all fucked up so no it's not Hermie Sadler it's not Ryan Newman leading it is in fact Hermie Sadler then Terry Labonte Casey Mears Kilroy McCoy whoever Greg Biffle fifth Newman's then sixth so I'm assuming Newman might be the first among, among the people that pitted what is this freaking oh my god this turned into like an absolute mess but if we can at least get ahead of Newman before the, the pit stops happen that we can at least lead some laps? Didn't think I'll be saying that today. I just had to pause and see what is going on. Because, like, I am I was so lost. Now Jeff Gorin's really mad. Probably rightfully so. But what person in their right mind would just be in the middle of the racetrack being slow? Well, we did get ahead of Newman, so when more of these people pit... We should cycle into the lead? I think? <laughs> That's if they didn't pit, or if they did pit. I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just... Bobby Labonte almost just freaking hit the barrels, and I would have been terrible because it would have been right in front of me. Oh, my God. Are we... I, I'm assuming Harmony Sadler and them have yet to pit. That's why they stayed out, I'm assuming. I mean, if they already didn't... I, I don't... I don't know. If 
Phantom's o brain became oatmeal. I almost said his oatmeal became brain. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to make sense of things. What? <laughs> the fancy car just was in the wall? I think? That was weird. I hit the inside wall. That's also extremely strange. Is Hermie Sadler just straight up just pulling away from me? Is that is... Is that is... What, what, is, what is that and why is that happening? That is apparently what is occurring. Hermie Sadler just... Effortlessly pulling away. And Casey Mears just third. Okay, there are people pitting. Okay, so that would explain what is happening then. So. Okay. Yep, there goes Mears, so. We should cycle out in the lead. But I don't even know if I, I have the car to even hold the lead. I don't. My car really wasn't that great. I was running like. 17th before. Yeah, I'm just losing ground to freaking Hermie Sadler. He's just, how is he that much faster? And the 175 car will refuse to move. As long as we are able to lead some laps, at least we'll be matching Newman with laps led stuff, so I want that to occur. But they are taking their sweet time freaking pitting. I really just want to put this car into third gear just to get more launch off the freaking corner, but I'm trying to save fuel because I don't know what's going to happen if we're going to have another caution glitch or not. So many factors I have to think of that normal race car drivers don't probably have to think about. I can't pass the 175 car. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's really... And he's going to block me all the way down the inside wall. This is so fucking frustrating. And because of all that, it keeps... Comp I keep getting my fucking... Oh, it's so, so, so annoyed. Now Tyrell Bonnie's leading. When are they pitting? I need to lead some laps just to just to help us out. With just because right now, if I don't lead any laps, Newman and I are going to be tied on points, and that's not going to help us out. We need we need to lead some laps. When is Terry pitting? I still can't believe I'm staying ahead of Newman this far. Johnny Benson's about to pass Newman. What is this race? Yeah, Benson's about to pass Newman. What what is happening? Is Benson like just like just gonna straight up just win this race?
I'm, I, you know what? If the AI are going to pit early, I, I, I need to be in fucking third gear. I keep, I'm like, losing so much. I keep keeping it. I, oh my god, I can't even talk. I'm so mad. I keep it in fourth gear and it, I'm like dying off the, the freaking corners. Finally, the 175 car slips up. I can finally. No, still can't pass him. And how is Terra Labani, that hasn't pitted, able to make it 70 laps? Unless he did pit. I, I don't know. Johnny Benson just passed Ryan Newman. I just want to remind you, Johnny Benson just passed Ryan Newman on racetrack. Fi actually, finally, we're going to pass the 175 car. It took us like 20 laps for that to occur. That, that's kind of sad it took that long. Also, the custom car 105, Kilroy McCoy, is just in second, one second back at Terra Labonte, like legitimately having a shot. I guess they did pit. They would have pitted by now, long, long ago. And I still can't even pass them. I mean, I, I could even freaking catch up to Hermie Sadler. So this car's race pace speed is so pitiful. But it's. I just can't let Johnny Benson is just he's faster than Ryan Newman. Our second place points competitor, Ryan Newman. How is this possible? I don't know. I mean Johnny Benson is a badass, but I'm surprised the game is reflecting his badassery in such a manner. In such a freaking suggestive manner. Like how is this possible? Am I still catching Terra Labonte yet? <laughs> it's been like 5.9 for a while. No, it's 6.2. Alright. Terra Labonte's pulling away from Kilroy McCoy, so... I guess Terra Labonte's just going to win this race if it plays out normally. Keyword if it does. I don't know if a caution glitch happens twice in a race or what. Thank you, Stan Barrett, for just, for Ash and Lewis, for literally just chopping me off for no reason, man. No, I'm not, Crew Chief. I literally lost time. Stop gaslighting me, Crew Chief. Well, I don't know what more I can ask out of this race. I did get the caution glitch. It just, unfortunately, didn't really affect Ryan Newman at all. Now I just have to rely on this car being decent enough to to hang on. Which I think at this point, even though Newman led three laps, he's still going to gain... I'm only going to gain, like, five points on him. Thanks to Benson, of all people, Johnny Benson is going to help me gain points. I, I don't know how I don't know how to feel about that. I guess I should feel good about it, <laughs> but I didn't think Johnny Benson, of all people, would be coming to save the day for me. What a timeline we're going to be in. In the year 2006, Terra Labonte is going to get a win, which I can't say isn't that much of a surprise because Terra Labonte did finish second at Infineon in 2006 with a, a the freaking Hall of Fame car, so shit. If he could do that in that car, then you know what? He could realistically win 2006. I don't know. Junior goes down pit road. 
Now that I know that Jeff Gordon brings out the caution glitch, he might be the first group of people to pit, maybe? I don't know how this all's gonna play out. But obviously, if the yellow does fly, we'll definitely go down to her own pit. I'm assuming the rest of the AI are gonna do the same as well. Can't believe Tara Labani might might just legitimately win. Just on race pace. He's just he's hanging on. And there's 105. We're about to pass? I see him up there. What, what is going on with that? How did he how has he fallen off so badly? If we pass the 105, that would definitely help us with points. Okay. Oh, great. 6 6 6 6 6. That... How much more curse can this race get if we're getting that type of interval? Like, how, how is that possible? There we go. Pass the 105. Bonnie's pitting, which is really good for us because we can actually lead some laps and get some bonus points. That's going to help us out even more. But he had such a lead that he's even going to lead that lap on pit road. Now Ryan Newman's third. Maybe Benson pitted. I don't know. When is Jeff Gordon pitting? I can't really tell. Finally, we're going to leave the lap. I can't see when Gorin's pitting, so it's hard to tell when that happens. Kurt Busch is second. Hello. That was scary. I don't know what Kenny. I didn't know what Kenny was doing there, but I almost lapage into him. Obviously, these cars are gonna have pressure tires, so they will be able to just kind of drive by me. Oh, there's Jeff Gordon down pit road. Okay, beautiful. Caution glitch is still alive. Is I mean, it's all gonna, it's all gonna come down to when he e exits pit road. But we are in really good shape because Ryan Newman did just pit, so he's multiple laps down probably. This is our chance. I'm glad I. Yep, there it is. There it is. It happened again. Beautiful. That is what I needed. That is freaking amazing. Steve Park, you go by. You go have fun. Oh, Jeff Gordon's doing it again where he's slow. What? What is that? I, I dodged the bullet that time, but like, what? What? what why did he... I don't even understand that, but... All right, whatever. We got the caution glitch. It happened again. Beautiful. We can pit now. We might win this race now because of that. As stupid as it is, that will probably determine our championship. That's going to put us in really good shape for Atlanta. Yes, we're pitting. Let's look at this interval. We got Kurt Busch third. Kurt Busch might legit... 
legitimately like get second. No, he will get second or third because there's only three cars on lead lap. Newman's seventh, Benson's. Okay, Newman's not going to lose as much points, but we're still going to gain a good showing. We might. We're not going to lead the most laps. Kurt Busch might like legitimately. Because he, I came and say legitimately because we're, we haven't been fast this whole race, but Kurt Busch could straight up win this race. Because our car is just not fast. I mean, we were losing time to Hermie Sadler, so like we don't even have race pace to keep up with Hermie Sadler. Kurt Busch might win this race. <laughs> unless he didn't pit. Unless he pitted already? I don't know. I'm so baffled on the strats going on right now. I think he might have stayed out still, so I think he's still screwed. I'm assuming Robbie Gore and Kurt. No, Kurt's pinning with me. Kurt's pinning with me. Yes. Yes. Okay. So Kurt, I think he will like unless he pits again, which will be really stupid. He's gonna have a good finish, which is what I want to see. All right. We need to look at the race results. We need. To, we need to. We need to look at this. Okay. Robbie Gore first. How many people are on late lap? Never mind, it is actually five. Ryan Newman's seventh. He will be pinned a lap down. Kevin Harvick, Terry Labonte, Kurt. This is such a weird race. <laughs> Just want to point that out. It's been a weird race. Robbie Gordon's in the mix of all this, like with lap cars. This is just so. I just want to get to the bottom. There we go. And now we don't have to worry about tires or our fuel. So we can just keep it in third gear, launch it off the corner, go into fourth. So for once, we could finally go like 100%. We might, maybe we can win this race. I don't know. Never mind. Terlebani is basically lap down. He was just a car ahead of us. I don't know why he didn't get put on lead lap like with everyone else. Why was he put there? I, I, So many things, I don't know what's going on. All I know is, is that I'm leading. And we're going to try to BS this win somehow. Oh no, Terrell Labonte's up here. He's fast. Run away. How is Terrell Labonte? He's like insanely fast. He just drove through Robbie Gore like he was standing still. Robbie Gore was in second just like one lap ago. Cheese a car. It is the cheese a car, JC. Your favorite food. And I'm going to deny him a win. And win in Ultimate Dragon's like favorite one of her favorite driver cars. Isn't that something? And Kurt's fifth. It's a it's the best timeline. What a world we live in right now, where Terry Labonte <laughs> led the most laps. I think he led the most laps in this race. Maybe. And now we're pulling away. How is this possible? We've been so slow. And now that we're in the lead, we're just pulling away. Is it clean air? What's the logic behind that? How are we able to be so slow when Hermie Saller was leading? And now... Now we're pulling away. Kurt is now second. What? What is this? What is happening behind me? Two point two is the second. Is the second what? Two point two seconds is the gap. We'll see if that goes up. There's not really any lap cars to worry about. If that's even the reason why they're slowing up, I, I really don't know. 
Oh, it's 1.5. That was seven tenths of a second. He gained that lap. How? How? Oh my god. Don't tell me Kurt's gonna win this race. Or he's like in position to win it. He's just he's just fast now all of a sudden. That's another three tenths he just chopped off. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do what I can. But yeah, all of a sudden now, Kurt's just really, really fast. Now I'm just like choking away the corners. Keep it up. Great lap. Yeah, he's there. The only thing I could do now is just try to park the bus on the bottom. That one was we gapped him about a tenth that lap, so that's good. Let Kurt win. I don't want to be just letting people win. Especially when I'm in a championship battle where I need points on Newman as much as I can. Now we got lap cars, so that's gonna add an extra layer to this to this race. Because I know the lap cars are just not gonna let me go. Thank God I can downshift into third just to get a better exit because I really depend on that right now with the lap cars. Dr. Pepper car, I like you as a drink. But please move, thank you. Building a gap to Kurt, it's not, it's not crazy. Sorry, Chase Montgomery, but move. Thank you. Kind of build up like a one-second gap on Kurt, which is good. We need that bit of a buffer. I really thought lap traffic was gonna bone me a lot more. We still got a lot of laps left for this, for it all to go wrong. I need you to freaking move. Good lord. Joe Nemechek, I'm not in the mood either. Alright, got through one of them. They're not side by side anymore, so... Don't gotta worry about that. I can't believe we're, I can't believe we're even in this spot with how bad this car was and just and everything. I, I I'm just so fortunate. The caution glitches play in our favor. And Kurt of all people's running second. This is like the best race of the year. Just bait on that alone.
1.5 seconds. Kurt's got two more lap cars to deal with, so I think we're in the clear. We have enough of a cushion. We should be good. Newman is going to finish no better than 7th, so we're going to gain another 30 points on him, possibly. Going into Atlanta, which is really good. Kurt's still there. He is not giving up. He's, he's, he's lurking. He's keeping me honest. Doesn't help when lap cars are in the frickin' way like Ash and Lewis. Oh my god, Ash and Lewis. I don't need you to be in the way. White flag. Kurtz, he's still there. Power off turn two help there. Just gotta be careful in turn three. Just let, let him do whatever. Nice runoff. Winner. Yes! Yes! Eat, eat it field we just did everything we needed to do properly and Newman gets seventh Kurt second this is the best timeline I'm so happy I'm gonna I'm gonna empty out my garbage more chances for you to lose positions. Dodge dealers UAW Dodge had to work hard for the win. You know, I credit that whole crew for an exceptional race. It takes everyone working together to get results like that. What a great race for that team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I am committing to the bit. I'm committing to the bit. Brad Pasternak, you won Also, I need water, too. Thank you, Jordan Clark, with the three. I appreciate that. I sneezed. That's what happened. I sneezed. Don't people sneeze? <laughs> what if it's the only person I know to celebrate a win in Thunder of Fork by emptying his trash? Because I, I took out the trash today. I literally took out the trash. That's a dub. I'm happy with that. And I need a water, too. And we win in the Bill Elliott car. That's... I... You never know when you go to Martinsville. You just don't know if you're going to have, like, good luck. And I had good luck. I look good in the fire suit, though. I'll say that much. At least we got a win with Dale Jarrett, and we got a win with in the, in the you know, with Bill Elliott as well. Which, the, look, oh, look at it. He freaking, like, threw the trophy up, and he got a better job. What a Chad. That's a freaking swag move. He's going to get Winston Cup girls, like, freaking number after this race and have, like, consensual love. <laughs> All right, let's look at the points here. Uh, we led 36 laps. Definitely didn't lead the most. A terrible body did by seven more laps than me. But we led laps. We got bonus points. So that's 180 for us and 151 there. So we gained 29 points on Newman. So it's going to be, what, 53? 
on Numa now going into Atlanta, which is really good. Kurt, again, has a great day. He is definitely going to be ahead of uh, Jimmy Johnson, Marlin, and Kenseth in points. I don't know if he's actually going to leapfrog all of them. I think he was like 60 points out. And that was to Kenseth. Benson got a top 10. Why does Winston Cup Curl look like you? Oh, no. Did I, did I just, in turn, call Ultimate Dragon, like, attractive? I don't know how, I don't know what, I don't know, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to say. No. <laughs> wait, wait, that, no, wait, no, if I don't say that, now it's going to be like an insult. Um, uh, yes. Yes, that's my answer. <laughs> uh, so, oh boy. We got, uh, who, who is, Dale Jr. 18th. I think Kurt is now 10th in points after... Oh, maybe... Oh, uh, uh, no. Kenseth is up there. Never mind. He's, Kenseth was 10th. 134 to 175. Kurt's close. He, he, he had to have definitely gained a spot. So that top 10 point battle, Kurt might... Kurt's battle to the banquet is close. Girl with red hair. Oh, I did... I, oh. I didn't... I, I guess I just never thought of it. <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna move on before I say something completely stupid and, and, and irrational. But that was Martinsville. I'm so happy you're gonna figure out what the fuck is algebra gonna do with me in the room. Yeah, it doesn't really help. What really should help is more about financing, uh, how to write a check. Uh, things like that are more useful than learning what E equals MC square. That's not algebra. I don't. Maybe it is. I don't know anymore, man. Let's move on to Atlanta. So our point situation is good. Fifty-three points, as I perceived. That's good. Jeff Gordon, 6th. Uh, Kenseth, still 10th. Kurt, only 24 back. Good. 5 top 5s, 20 top 10s. Good lord. Yeah, Kurt does not have the same stats as Kenseth. I'm even surprised Kurt's that close then. But there's a massive gap from 10th to 9th, though. Like, that is that is massive. But Kurt has a shot. Johnson dropped back. Marlon dropped back. Now, all of a sudden, in just one race... Well, it's still 95 points. 10th to 13th is still 95 points. I guess Michael Waltrip kind of has a shot, too. But that battle continues to be spicy. And lap champion, we're closer to Newman. Terry Labonte led a lot in this race. Led all, all of his laps led in that race, or that season, was in that race. And now he just knocked himself up in the top 10. More laps than Terry more More than his brother, Bobby. More than Michael. Michael, what did I say? Michael Wolf? Anyways. Let's uh, save our progress. I'm going to check my uh, team management stuff. Chassis can't do anything. Engine. Well, one's being built. Number nine is basically as strong as number four, so we can repair that. Overhaul that so the durability is up a little more. And body at number eight is up for grabs, so we'll definitely use that just because the downforce is going to be really good on it. I think we'll be going into a land with probably good a good car we're gonna use the muppet car because we're not gonna have this car for very long so might as well just get all the good paint schemes out of the way for unique ones we'll race as the muppet car we'll because jc's a muppet so we'll be racing and cosplaying as him <laughs> the fuck does that mean i don't know it's 
This is JC. This is this is literally JC. I just see some googly eyes. But this is JC. That's him. That's him as a sock puppet. That's 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 what he that's he's basically someone you could shame your fist to do and talk. I don't, I'm done. Let's go to Atlanta before I say some more stupid shit. Uh, chassis, uh, the, the we need all the best stuff we can bring. We're bringing that. Engine, uh, bring the best. That's our best there. 92. Body, 93. Yeah, we're definitely bringing that. Not, ooh, ooh, hello. 90 car rating. That's a first. I don't think I've ever seen that. So, well, we're in the 90 range. Oh, goody. You're racing at Atlanta in Bill Elliott's car. That, that's a good thing. I, that means I, I I might win. If we're going by that trajectory. Newman's not first. He's choking. He's ninth. Oh, he's a choke boy. He's just falling apart at the end of the year. Kurt 18th, but, you know, he can always run up to the top 10. But, wow. I just do some practice laps, get a feel for everything. Hello, that random guy. <laughs> JC plus what if it's time. You're damn right. Ooh, hello, golf kid. What if, what are you doing for Easter? Probably going up to my sister's house, having uh, East, uh, dinner on Sunday. That's the plan. Don't know what time yet, because I work on Sunday, so... I, we might have a later dinner. Well, maybe like 5.30, but... Because I get out of work at like 4.30, so... I'll be coming like right out of work and then going to their house. That's the plan. So, hopefully it's a good time. Hopefully I can, you know, get there... On time, or just even a little bit earlier, if I could possibly help it. We typically usually don't do anything too crazy. That's really about the the most we do. Look at JC. I'm in the Muppet car for you. I, I thought of you as I picked it. It was like you missed. I guess you weren't there when it happened. But it was like a real emotional thing. I ripped. I, I put. I ripped my shirt. To, and it was like having like this Titanic like reenactment with you, with my body pillow. It was. It was. It was quite the marvel. You know what's sad is even though I'm making this up, it it sounds like something I would do, doesn't it? It sounds like it. Look at JC freaking. He he stole that from Wikipedia. Freaking freaking Wikipedia stealer. You can't say that. You can't just recite Wikipedia facts. Is what if ripping or taking a shirt off? You're damn right. You're damn right. Oh my god, no. Stop. Oh my god, it's like ripping. Stop. Stop. Oh my god, no. I, oh my god, it's even more ripped than before. How am I gonna freaking wear this shirt now till freaking Easter? Oh, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Oh my god, where does it start and where does it end? There it is. All right, I found I found the I found the shirt hole. I don't even know where my sleeves are. Where are my sleeves? Oh, I think it's here. 
All right, I found it. So, uh, this is my One Piece shirt. It's kind of falling apart, but it still works. I could still wear it out in public. I would, I would consider it being in pretty good shape still. Um, it's not really falling apart or anything. You know, it's, it's not like I can, it's not like the shirt is like literally dangling on the ground because it's so ripped. But what I learned is never ever get an Amazon shirt because it literally is like cloth and rips and it is falling apart. It's four years old. It's like five years old now, but it still works. You're getting demonetized for, for what? <laughs> I'm barely, I'm barely, I'm not, not, there's no nippleage, no nippleage anywhere. But you know what? From this angle, it looks normal. But then if I move, if I move a little bit, then you kind of see the fault, the faults, but it looks good right now. From the front, it looks good. I have to remember to, but we're, we're, we're you know, we're, it literally is in piece, it, the in pieces shirt. It really is that. But, you know, this is how I feel right now. <laughs> Tattered and broken. What does that mean? I could see his stomach. Probably, yeah, you, yeah, you probably can. There's no nippleage though. The one piece shirt is not in one piece. It will, uh, JC, I know you're a freaking comedian. Go, go be Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. It's so hot in this room. Honestly, having this shirt with its openings gives me some more air. Dude, would have wear that for all. <laughs> no, I didn't. This is your side that was funny. Damn. That is see, I see it's a compliment. It wasn't even meant to be an insult. It's a compliment. I just hit the brakes thinking... I hit the freaking trigger brake as if it was that. I I just had confused myself. I think, I think we have enough practice in. I think I know what to expect with the car. It's a little bit tight. But definitely manageable. Why can't we see... No! Well, I guess it probably wouldn't be a big deal, but I'm not I'm not revealing that intentionally. It may be like a slip or something, or a slip up. I mean, then again, I think I did make a video without a shirt, like... I think I got a super chat for it. I think Day 500 did that. It was like in my NASCAR Heat 4 live stream or something. It was a long time ago. He's literally super chatted me to... Or it's either that or the Where the Robin cosplay. I'm not really sure which one. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, without that, with that said, we're gonna have Ember and take it away, and uh, we're gonna go from there. Do I have the car for manual gear? Yes, I do. Okay, got my got my I got everything covered. Not my shirt, but like my bases. <laughs> no, no Eagle Robin nipples. No, I do got the like fake breast thing. But, which I don't think I even had back then when I did it for Halloween. I did have it for the boa outfit, though, but I didn't have that back then. That would have been great to have with that with that combo, but I was already spending so much on the cosplay. I was just like, I can't afford to be spending so much. <laughs> Anyways, let, let's have Ember and take it away. from the Atlanta Motor Speedway in Hampton, Georgia for today's running of the Georgia 500. This place has it all. They even have a nine-story office and condominium complex right here at the track. And there is always great racing to go along with the amenities. Isn't that right? There sure have been some incredible finishes here at Atlanta. In the March race of 2001, Kevin Harvick beat Jeff Gordon to the checkered by mere inches to win his first NASCAR Winston Cup race. 
Given the circumstances and the emotion of that victory, that is one that people will talk about for decades to come. Bobby Levante will try to use this race to close in on the points lead. Gaining on the leader is tough when you're in the top five in points. It takes you having a good race and the leader having a bad one in order to gain anything substantial. Casey Mears certainly brings another well-known racing name to NASCAR. Well, he brings some talent of his own also, but having an uncle with Indy wins certainly doesn't hurt your chances of getting a ride. The Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge will start this race with the all-important points lead. If I was him, I wouldn't even think about the points. I'd just try to stay focused on getting the best finish I can. After all, consistency is what wins the championship. there. I saw an alternate scheme with Terra Labonte there, so that's always a great sight to behold. Numa's in an alternate scheme. And Dale Jr. is kind of being really dominant now all of a sudden, but it's too little too late. Or at least it's too late for Stewart. I don't know, but um, uh, I would not have to admit that. But I literally have I literally had it, well, I literally, when I cosplayed as Boa yeah, Bo Hancock on stream. I literally had like the fake breast for it. That, it's something I have, and I admit I, I admit to have that because it's literally something I have. It's not like it's something I freaking just use every day. It's, it's I literally used it once, and you know what? It was worth it. I was a beautiful girl. I will say that much. The sixth row can wear a dress for stream. I, I, I technically did that once, like, two years ago. I technically did that once already. And I'm proud of it. I looked good. I was jealous of myself. I would hit on me. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Like, we got a race. We got a, we got a room. And since Newman just isn't super duper OP, like starting on pole every race, we have a shot to at least pass him, or at least gain some points on him. This one and maybe Rockingham are the only two I'm kind of worried about. Oh, Benson's in an alternate scheme. Ooh, ooh. That's... I, I like seeing that. Oh, that sparks. Oh, that's a lot of problems. Still a lot of problems. Kurt was involved in that somewhere. Alright, P18. I will take it. That helps me out. Wow, what a stack up. That's Jack Sprague blocking me off the racing surface. Ooh, this is Jesus' home track. That's cool. I will try to do my best for you, Jesus. You know what's funny? <laughs> uh... Well... I guess it, I guess it is. I, cause I always, I, <laughs> cause I, I, I've seen some stuff sometimes where they ha like a person does a bet and if they lose, it's like oh they have to dress up as something like humiliating. It's like oh it's a like a princess elf. But it's like if you ask me to do that, it's like well that's not really, a, that's like that's like that's not really that bad of a loss. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> like it's not a big deal. Man, I would just be like the worst to try to like prank or, or try to get some upper hand or something because I would just be like, well, I don't know. I'd just be so unconventional. Robbie Gorin's really about to pass me again. No, I don't like that. Can I clear him? Getting in a three? Barely. Car does feel a bit tight, though. 
That's the default setup, though. I can definitely feel that. We're up to 13th. That's... I had, had a lot of help with that. Oh, someone blew up. Oh, what are they doing? I'm, like, swerving. <gasps> it happened! Ryan Newman DNF'd! Oh my god, it's, there's a, it's a miracle. It is a baby Jesus miracle. On Easter week, 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 weekday. Week, Easter week. Oh, that is some gargantuan championship implications. That just probably gave us a championship right there. It finally happened. Newman freaking DNF'd. I didn't think it would be possible. But Newman just gave away his championship. Any chances he had. I am so happy. That that is that is the best. I don't even care where I finish now. I don't that is like an extra hundred plus points gained right there. Oh, also Ultimate Dragon, I uh I left a comment on YouTubers that look like Pokemons or that could be as Pokemons or something. I I, I left a comment on that. <laughs> I'm like many I'm a long time late on that. But I thought the Pokemon of choice you gave me was a good one. I like that. That was a good video. Just like Newman's actual 2003 season. <laughs> it kind of is. It kind of is. What, 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 imagine that. Jeez, that's going to make Dale Jr. now second in points, I think. to address up there. I don't think he has the cojones to do that. There's no way. I don't know where Newman was running prior to the blowout. I think he was right around here, around 6th place, I think. So, we would have eventually caught up to him. I just don't know. I don't think we have the, right, the car to win. This, if Had he not blown up, I think it's, we still would have gained points on him. Just, you know, not 100 plus points. Sounds like Moob is a chicken. He damn right. The most he will do is a fire suit. But you know what? I, dr I, dr I literally dressed up in a dress. With fake bosoms and everything. And I will say. That they were good quality. I'm no bosom expert. But the review said that they were like realistic. And that kind of freaks me out. That society can get something that realistic. Or something that accurate. Yeah we're up to P6. Fifth is right there. I think Tony Storch is going to run away with another win. This is going to be like a Tony Storch stream now, apparently. I'm sure Mr. Lord is, is loving that. Too bad he's hundreds of points behind in the standings, so he doesn't really have a championship chance, but he's trying. Got a Kurt Busch Miller Lite hat for yourself from Goodwill. There was a good find. If it was at Goodwill, then it was probably at a good price. Nice find. What if hat? Well, <laughs> I think don't most humans have those to some capacity? I don't know.
One thing I never knew is that Golf Kid's in his 30s. And I just always thought he was younger than that. But you know what? My apologies. There's nothing to be upset about. There's nothing to be sobbing about. It's, it's okay. <laughs> You provided me with, like, a super chat to take my family out to dinner. That is... How much more of a baller could you be? That's awesome. I'm so glad we don't have to win this race. It's like so much weight has been loaded off my chest. I don't have to really worry about Newman in the points right now. I don't think we're going to win. I think the, the interval to the lead has stayed about the same. I don't think it's changed. Stop taking things so literally. <laughs> what, I can't apologize? Or if he's, like, being really upset that I, about something and I'm just trying to be like, Hey, it's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. I can't do that? What? What? what, what how? Well, guys, if I learned anything today is that... If someone does something nice for you, immediately question it. <laughs> immediately question it and reject the offer. <laughs> now that's me poking a funny. Hey, we're, hey, we're going to get fourth and third possibly. That, that, that's nice. Got a 164 diecast. Justin Haley's tied Chevrolet. Ooh, that Goodwill's amazing. That if you're able to find that type of stuff there. Unless it was somewhere else, I might might be confusing it. But that's awesome. I know the gap is like 3.8. Still 3.8. Dale Jigger is just kind of keeping up with them. Right, Atlanta is typically really, really tough, so I'm not surprised I'm having a hard time. The car is definitely getting worn, so that, that's not helping. That was a good corner. I wish I could do that more often. But I can't do that all the time. Yeah, I barely gained time that lap. What is your job? What if? Or what does it, does your company do? Oh, I, I just work at Texas Roadhouse. That's what I do. I've been there since September, so... Definitely over six months now. But I used to be there long before, back in like 2014 and like 2016.
I'm, I'm like half a tenth faster than them. It's not really much to write home about. It's, it's been stuck at like 3.8, 3.9. This what it feels like this whole run. Oh, it was like another 10th. That's good. Now we're just kind of stuck in no man's land. Now there's this terrible fucking corner. I don't need that. Somehow didn't lose time that lap, so it probably would have gained a lot more time that lap if I actually just nailed turns three and four properly. But this car is just so tight on default, it's really hard to actually hit the freaking corners properly. Surprised the car, I mean, the car still, for the most part, is pretty good. I haven't really felt the tire fall off decay as badly as it used to be here, so. Tire wear is in pretty good shape. You're almost out of gas. I would wonder why there's less laps here versus Charlotte, but then I learned from comment section that Atlanta is slightly bigger than a mile and a half. It's like 1.54 or something, so that would explain it. Now they're pitting, so I'm going to do the same. Dale Jr. pitted early. That might have gave Dale Jr. a win just pitting early like that alone. Now we've seen our picker to just have a normal stop, and we should be in good shape, but hard to say. I think third place is all we're going to get. I don't think I can get much more than that out of the car. I wanted to do more in this Muppet car for JC, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Ooh, 14-9, and... We just stopped. Dale Jr. is gone at no and there. Is that Dale Jr. leaving pit road right now? I don't know. I was confusing myself. I was going to say, is that Dale Jr. like exiting turn two? I mean, it would have been even better, but then our a our AI driver just was stopped for like two seconds. So there, there, any time we had, we just like gone because of that. We did undercut Tony Stewart, so we should, in theory, gain time, but I don't know if that's possible. It's hard to say with this game sometimes. That's probably Labonte, so... Yep, yeah, cycled out third. That's Tony Stewart leaving pit road now, so I think Dale Jr. is going to get the lead. Or barely get the lead. Lap traffic was kind of holding them up, I think. But, in fact, we're... Actually, I think we gained time. 
I mean, I could see them. It was like 3.8, 3.6 back before. Never mind, 3.7. Never mind, it's the same. But basically the same as it was before. I thought... I don't know, I was getting... I guess I thought that Jack Sprague was Dale Jr. I think that's what, I was, what was confusing me. Never mind, so... Jr. did gain time on me. But, you know, those extra two seconds probably would have been spared had the picker just not... Your, my AI just maybe leap pit road accordingly and not just stand there for two seconds. That doesn't probably help. the lap cars aren't being a problem. Oh my god, this thing is just so fast. Ashton Lewis tried. He tried blocking, but it wasn't enough. There was just so much momentum. Three point three. We're we're closing. Might be able to get the stir, but I don't know if we can get much more beyond that. The car feels pretty good. Don't really have any complaints with it. It's a little bit tight, but it's not undrivable or anything. It's weird. Now all of a sudden, Dale Jr. is going to be the guy second in points we have to worry about. He wasn't thinking that was ever going to happen this late in the year that we're going to have a point change for second, but it's happened. I didn't think, again, didn't think Newman would blow up today. Can't remember the last time he DNF'd. If, it, if it's been like that, it's been so long ago, I've, I've long forgotten that. 3.2, okay, good, another 10. I agree, Jesus. Anything can happen. Man, another two tenths cut off. I mean, we're definitely reeling them in. And since Stuart pitted after Junior, I'm assuming Stuart might have a slight tire advantage. Same with me, but hasn't really translated just yet. I wish I could nail these corners like this every lap because that, all those were great corners. Yeah, the other two tens chopped off. I can see Dale Jr. So that's that's good. It's got some lap traffic. I really don't want lap traffic to be a factor just because I know the AI treat the other AI cars differently versus me with lap traffic. So really just want less lap cars to deal with the better because on race pace without any interference we definitely are closing.
It's definitely crazy, with a 90 rated car and everything, the AI still can be competitive. Twelve laps? Possible within twelve laps. That's if I keep gaining on them in the same rate I've been doing. For some reason, Dale Jr. is having a really hard time passing Casey Mears. <laughs> I don't know what the deal's going on there. But he is slowing up considerably because of that. Now, me and Stewart have now copped the junior. Mears is scraping the wall. I don't know what the deal is with all that. And just like that, all three of us are pretty much nearly in the mix. All of us almost about under a second back. All because of Casey Mears. So, thank Casey Mears for stacking up Dale Jr. and slowing him down. Kamikaze would be very proud. He would not be very proud of, of what Mears is doing to me, though. Because that's not very nice. Seven fifty-eight. Not a bad idea. I just worry about the tire fall off on the long run. I know my car can last about. Yeah, it, it might make it. Some of the AI do pit early. I just don't know what these two are doing. But Stewart's going for a lead. That's probably the best case for me. Don't want Junior to gain more points on me. I would like to lead some laps though. I, I mean, I would like to win. As all of a sudden, Dale Jr. just fell apart. PC Mears just caused him so much turmoil and grief that he just, he like, couldn't pass him for, like, two laps. Kenny Wallace there as a pick to hold Junior up. It pretty much it worked. And we're basically in Stewart's draft, so should be able to get by him. Carroll pushed kind of semi up the track a little bit, but. Yeah, we're there. Didn't think this would happen. I mean, I maybe I was thinking maybe we could get by Stewart, but didn't think Junior would be falling off as hard as he is. But I would say we're gonna pass him, but he just gotta run up on the outside. He's not giving up though. I will respect that. I'm, can I even lead this lap? It's going to be close. Barely. Barely led that lap. Still not clear of him. He's still putting up a fight on the outside. What is this? I'm still not clear. I might be clear now. Finally. Finally clear of him. I think. Depends on how he gets the run off the corner, but... We're good. We got the lead. I would love to build up the gap for when I do eventually pit. Because I don't know how much time I'm going to lose during a pit stop. That's like just the one thing I can't really control. Definitely gapping him a little bit. Well, another tenth, but. We definitely have the power in the straightaways. So I can almost seem like I can I can see the gap kind of see the gap get bigger because of that. And the 
top three haven't pitted yet, so that's interesting. I thought they would pit a little bit sooner. Awesome yeah, 57, 58. Really, at any point now. I mean, we saw some people pitting around lap 48 even, so... Pit window should be happening pretty soon. Six tenths. It's gonna be, I don't know. I mean, last run was pretty good. We didn't really lose any time. But I don't know if that's just a, a fluke or, or what. Another two tenths gain, which is nice. Can't really stick the bottom anymore. All right, lap lap fifty eight. That's what I'm gonna try to try to go down pit road. I don't know. Maybe lap. We'll go lap fifty nine. I don't know what the AI are gonna really do. That's the other thing. They have so much power over me because. The race might might be won or lost just because of the undercut. We built up a second gap, which is good. I, I didn't think we'd be even gaining that much. So that alone is impressive. I really didn't even think that was going to be even remotely possible. No, Stewart's still staying out. 1. 1.2. I definitely learn now that like we definitely have the car to, to pull away. Doesn't look like... Yeah, Stewart's not pitting either, so... He's staying out longer. I don't know if that's the best strat, but... Yeah, I don't want to stay out any longer. Lap 60. It's, an, it's a flat number. It's an e, it's an odd, well, it's an even number. We'll pit then. That should be good enough. Tires and everything should be able to be strong enough to make it to the end. No problem with that. So that's our plan. Slow down. Seventy miles an hour. Perfect. Yes, yeah, Stewart and M still aren't pitting. So yeah, four tires, and then we just hope this undercut does work. They should be pitting here pretty shortly regardless, so they might have a tire advantage, but it's, I don't know if it's enough. I don't know, it's so, so many things, so many factors play in when you have a green flag race, which is what I like. Fifteen seven just made time, and the picker nail a fifteen three. So the picker do exactly what they need, and we leave pit road accordingly. No problems with that. Now we can just let Page up onto the track and just wait for things to cycle through. And we should, in theory, be the leader, but you never know. I'm surprised Stewart's staying out as long as he is, which it's really bad for him when he eventually pits because he's going to be at such a deficit. It's going to be kind of like a Matt Kenseth at that Chicagoland thing where he stayed out way too long and never could make a chance to run back at me, which is basically what cost him the win there because I don't really think I had the car to pass him there at that track. But Kind of getting like a Chicagoland Matt Kenseth situation brewing up here. Stewart doesn't pit soon.
right, good to hear. Don't know. Oh, it's Dale Jr. Stewart still has yet to pit. It's an interesting strat. He just, I mean, maybe he just doesn't feel like winning. But this is good for us, though. This puts us in a really good uh, spot. This, now we only have to really worry about is Dale Jr. I think. He might be cycling out second. Bobby Labonte. Why would you do that? Why would you continue to block as well? It's just, it's just not nice. I know Atlanta's your home ground, your, your turf, your turf of being really good. That doesn't mean you, you just block me. And Stewart, I guess, is just going with the long, the long haul, and probably just screwing himself out of any chance of winning by staying out this late. Don't understand that. I think he's finally pitting, though. I think I saw his car duped, uh, juke down low. There he goes. Yep, he's pitting. Questionable strat. I don't think that's going to work out. He's definitely going to have a lot fresher tires than me, but he's not going to have the time to run me down. Oh, Ashton Lewis, Kyle Petty in a bit of a bit of a issue there, but you know, we, we get through it, no problem. I guess fifth to first, all but down Piro that lap, I guess. Don't understand that strategy, but we're gonna cycle out into lead easily. I mean it's not even gonna be a contest. And unless, you know, they have they gain like stupid amount of time, this this gap should be big enough to where we should win no problem. Really, I'm surprised they stayed out as long as they did. I was thinking maybe lap 63 or 64 they would start pitting, possibly, but no, even later than that. Of course, you got Hermes Sadler trying to be a hero there, blocking, which is never appreciated. They got together in my mirror. <laughs> They're having some beef, apparently. Dale Jr.'s 5.4 seconds back. Stewart's 7 seconds back. I don't understand why they stayed out as long as he did. It's just not enough time for them to run me down anyways, so... Completely boneheaded strat there. But hey, at least we're going to win just because we were like just straight up fast. Because we pit it with them basically on the same pit sequence. And we just drove them all down. So this win's not going to feel that bad. It's going to feel like a justified good one. I guess Bobby Labonte at some point was for position. That I did pass on track. I don't know. I guess he pitted really early, but he's gonna have so much worse tires than everyone else that really wasn't that big of a deal. Was the gap like 5.4 last lap? 5.5. We're actually gaining. Even better. You're gonna gain the max amount of well, not the absolute max amount of points because we're not gonna leave the most last, but we're gonna gain. Oh my god, like 140 plus points on Newman. Like, we're gonna have like a, over a one race lead. No, Kurt did not win Martinsville, unfortunately. He got second, though. He kept me on my toes that whole race. Like, he just refused to roll over and let me win. He, I had to I had to work for it. Also, nice Terra Labonte alternate scheme. I appreciate that. 
And we're going to win at Atlanta with Bill Elliott's car. Though, no, Terrell Labonte just drew the outside wall, but... Yeah, in 1992 fashion, or just like 1992, hopefully it's not exactly like 1992 where, you know, we, we end up winning the championship. But we're going to probably lose this sponsor before we even get to Homestead, so... Probably not going to be able to have that happen unless we get like another package sponsor and we get like Dale Jarrett's offer and it's going to like just constantly cycle through Elliot and Jarrett constantly. <laughs> I don't know. Don't I, I don't know what happens when you lose both your package sponsors of like real life drivers. I don't know if they just cycle through the back again or, or what. Jeff Green, I, I don't know why Jeff Green's really fast. He's just been right at me. I don't know if he might have just pitted early, or later, I mean. This is why he's just randomly faster. But yeah, he's just, he's about to pass me on the outside. Like, what is this? Yeah, he's still there. He, I just cannot pull away from Jeff Green. <laughs> That's going to be another, what is it? It's going to be like our 63rd career win. We're going to tie Kyle Busch in real life with the amount of wins we have right now. Eight, still the gap. It was like 5.4 when everything cycled through. And we gained a little bit, but some of that could be because of lap traffic. It's still been stuck at 5.8, so I'm assuming we're pretty much even. Again, that tire strat didn't really work. I don't know why they just stayed out as late as they did. If they just pitted like right around the same time I did, this probably wouldn't be as easy. It still probably would be pretty close. Jimmy Johnson now fifth. That's not good for Kurt's banquet dreams. I, I think we're going to have to accept the fact that Kurt's banquet dreams of being in the top 10 is just not going to happen. He might be able to get to 11th, but I don't think he's getting 10th. I don't even know where he's running. He was involved in that, uh... He was part of that big stack up early in the race, so he was separated from, like, yeah, a big chunk of the pack, and I, last time I saw he was running, like, 18th, so... Wouldn't be surprised he's run, like, 15th to 20th in this race. Two to go. Ran a clean race. Really, I don't even think we made any contact. We might have had some contact with someone, maybe. But kept the car in good shape throughout the whole thing. No back side damage. No anything. OCD triggering events. Nothing. Can we lap those three cars in front of me? Probably not, but, you know, we'll try. This was definitely a track I was thinking it would be a lot harder. It was kind of starting off to be that way, but the pit cycles, and we had a lot of help with the AI stack ups there on the start. That probably is what helped us be in such a good position early on. So we kind of had help with that. We gained like 20 spots. We went from like 43rd to 18th because of it. We had through 3 and 4. Everything went right. The Newman DNFs, we end up winning. We just, just about max points our day as much as we could have. No complaints there. 41 minute race too. Tony Stewart second, Junior third. In a photo finish apparently for second. Did you see that interval? That's pretty amazing. It Damn. says a lot about the quality and true talent of these NASCAR Winston Cup drivers. The Dodge dealers UAW Dodge came from the back of the pack to get the win. Yeah, he probably feels like he passed 100 cars on the track. It's hard work to come from the back in this NASCAR Winston Cup series. It all pays off when you win though. It does. It sure does, crew chief. Another win. Just dominating fashion. I can't say dominating because we didn't leave the most laps. I don't think we left the most laps. But we did everything we needed to. 
and we win the Muppet car. We win it for JC. Like, what, what are the like? What are that like? Do more amazing. Because now we can just make she go JC go. He he he. Yeah, hometown win. I did it for Jesus too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the 4.99. I appreciate that. It means a lot. I'm glad I won it for Jesus too. On on on, on Easter week too. I like how it still says Napa 500. Is that? I don't know. I don't know what that means. The siren is screaming. Well, I'm not Bill. Uh, well, I'm not Bill Elliott, so I'm not probably getting sirens from one. But close enough. Did I lose money out of that one? Oh, never mind. I, I was confusing myself. Home track win. W O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O that's cool. That's cool. Uh, we definitely didn't lead the most laps. That went to Tony Stewart, who gets the same amount of points as me, which we'll, 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 we'll rant about how dumb that is. But we get the win. We maximize our points. Marlin 9th, Rusty 10th. Kurt still rebounded to 11th after that big stack up earlier in the race. That is impressive. I'm actually shocked by that. But Marlin and Jimmy got more points than him. Which really sucks. He was ahead of Kansas, so there's that. But yeah, the point situation continues to be more interesting as it just continues to to play out. But yeah, Kurt, I, I can't believe Kurt rebounded from that after that lap one or lap two stack up. That that he probably could have had a shot for a top ten had he not gotten slowed up so much. That's impressive. 146. I think it is exactly that. Yeah, Newman blew up on lap six. That's unbelievable. I, I, I can't believe that. That changes the complexity of this championship by such a mountain. Like, it's just, it's just completely flipped. And even if Newman didn't blow up, he probably would have finished somewhere in the top five. So he still would have gained points. It might have been like, he might have had like an 80 point lead or something. But it would definitely wouldn't be like what it's going to be now. So, yeah. Have, I No complaints on that one. That went so shockingly well and Kurt overall had a great three race run in this stream which is even better so happy with that and now we'll go into next week's stream with close to a 200 point lead might be like 150 but it'll still be pretty good oh no Newman's still still second in points I thought Junior would have easily surpassed him but no it's 199 points how do we blow this? How do, I mean, if we DNF, then that, that kind of changes everything. But we have a really, really good point lead. And we're going into Phoenix, which we, I remember we typically do really well at Phoenix. So even if we don't win the next three races, even if we just get finished 10th every race and Newman wins all three of them, leads the most laps, he still wouldn't even have enough points to beat me. So like, our, we just have to run top 10. We don't even need to really win. We just need to just get top 10s, and we'll pretty much lock it up. So we're looking really, really good for this finale, which I did not expect going into this stream. 26 back from leading laps on Newman. That's interesting we're that close to him. But we're in really good shape. As long as we don't DNF, we should win this. Yeah, that was our uh, 63rd career win, 16th win of the year. We're only win, win, one win away from tying our previous season's record. We definitely did not have as much top 10s, though. That's interesting. Not surprised, because this is this was definitely a lot harder using default steps. The previous year, we had custom setups, so... Yeah. At the most, we're going to end the season with, like, 28 top 10s, possibly. Newman actually has 20. Wait. Newman still has more top 10s. That's even more shocking. Wow, he actually has more top 10s. I don't know what to say about that. Junior's still third. Basically a full race out. 
And 10th still goes to Kenseth. Kurt is only 18 back. He's actually pretty close. Marlin with that one bad race has dropped him tremendously. Jimmy had another good run too, but couldn't close it on Kurt. But Kurt's only 18 back at Kenseth. He still has a shot going into next stream with the banquet dream of getting a top 10. That's hot. I didn't expect that. I like that. They're going to save all of our progress. If your guys finish 17, 21st, please build successor one again. Yeah, two for two. I don't even think Dale Jarrett did that. Or I don't even think I did it in Dale Jarrett's car. I only got one win. I did get two wins. Never mind. It wasn't just, it wasn't two in a row. It was, I did get two wins in that car. I think in the, what the five races I ran with it or four. I don't know. I won two of, the, of those four races or something like that. So next stream, we'll be tackling naturally Phoenix. Rockingham and then Homestead, which Phoenix, I'm positive we're going to do well at. Rockingham, I don't know. Homestead, I think we'll do well. But as long as we just not DNF, you know, we should be fine. And no, I'm not DNFing to make things interesting. That would be kind of stupid. I don't want to do that. I like it. I like for the championship battle to be just organic, and if it just naturally happens to where it's really nail biting, then that's going to make it all the more juicier. And we have a good point lead now. I mean, who knows going into Phoenix or Rockingham? We could just accidentally DNF myself being stupid. There's always that insane chance of that too. Look at Watkins Glen. <laughs> like that. That was even more crazy. But yeah, that's it. I don't think there's anything else to show. I mean, we could look at the garage area and see if we need to repair anything. Um, number eight still kind of our best stuff, shockingly, even though we used it before. Engines, that's being overhauled. And bodies, oh, well, we can actually repair something here. Number eight still our best. Number seven's technically. I mean, number six and seven are still our weakest, so I guess we could just overhaul number six. Goes up a lot, so we'll go with that 91. We can get that car good for Homestead. Same with the engine category. We've got six more races being built on that, so that won't be done until next season. Hello, Platypus. So I think that's it. Uh, save our progress and we'll just wrap things up and I'm not gonna wear this shirt anymore because I'm I think I think I need to throw it away it's falling apart so uh, let's go to full face cam as you can see this 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 shirt it's like ripped I mean the only thing that's not destroyed is this the Jolly Roger which somehow has not ripped. It's just ripped all, everywhere else around it. So, um, yeah, I, I need, I don't, I should not be wearing a shirt. I, that's what I learned. That's what I learned. And it's stuck on my chair. How, how does this, do you see this? I, I, it's stuck on my chair. How does that happen? Just, that's just another, that's just another way for the shirt to get more destroyed. This is why I keep it on the chair because it's like not good for anything else now. But unless someone like literally pays me like like <laughs> fifty to a hundred dollars to wear that shirt, then maybe I'll wear it. But most times, probably not. <laughs> I don't want to be like DSP and like make that like a goal unless chat's just that insane, but I'm not, I'm not doing that. But yeah, that'll do it. I need to have some dinner here because it's late. I haven't had anything to really eat since like th four o'clock. Last streams have, last three streams have gotten close to four hours, which is impressive. I usually kind of stream right at like three hours. But, but that, like, extra 35 minutes of me rambling kind of prolongs things more. 
Usually, I don't always have a lot of things to talk about, but that this stream I kind of did. So that's kind of the exception. Let me fix this title because I I put I also became that doesn't really make sense. I became Bill Elliot Midstream. Oh. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up. Did you hear about the Bridge of Baltimore? I did hear about that. That is tragic. It sucks. It's a freak. It's a scary, freaky situation. Well, I think that about that about does it. Like I said, next stream will be the finale of Thunder of Four Season 4. Will it go beyond that? If I win a championship, probably not. But I don't know. I'm kind of morbidly curious just to see if I can get the car at 100, which we're close to doing that already. And the AI still keep it competitive, but I think it just needs a rest. I think we need to put that series like on hold because I think after that, I want to do like a Thunder 2000 stream with uh, the fantasy cars. I don't know if I want to do Thunder 2000 because if that Bush series thing comes out, which, I mean, it's going to be like eight, like an eight week series what I want to do. So I don't want like that save file to get corrupted mid series. So maybe I'll just save it for like, like the vanilla version of the game. And then, um, leave the Thunder 2000 stuff on the side for maybe we won't do that then. I don't know. But we'll definitely I'll, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably do the regular like PC XS2 like emulator with the fancy season because that'll be like an 8 week thing. And then after that, after that's completed then we'll probably do like NASCAR 05 uh fancy like season which there's more races with that side that actually can last a lot longer i gotta freaking prolong this until the new game comes out because i'm like i'm like almost out of ideas for like series and stuff so i don't know that's kind of what i have going on but either way uh before i go thank you to uh uh, Jesus with the 499 early on, Elite Precision with the 10, Jordan Clark with the 3, as well as Jesus there right at the end with the 499. I appreciate that. That does me a lot. It does help me out a lot with uh, just everything. So thank you for the generosity. I appreciate it. It, does, it truly means a lot. So with that, we're going to wrap it up and head on out. So uh, let's have that uh, glorious outro music take us away. Bye-bye. Thank you.